Hey there, everybody. Welcome to this reading for the 10th of October. If you're coming to this reading not live, go down below. All the timestamps are below this video. Uh, but welcome, everybody. I'm going to get started a couple minutes early. Uh, so that's why I'm jumping in here now. Um, so welcome, everybody. Thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Uh, Nanya, hello, Rose. Hello, Barb. Welcome. And I see you. Hello. And uh, Heather, hello. Thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. And um, everybody else, welcome. Thank you for being here. Uh, like I said, I'm going to get started answering some questions. Uh, I actually lost one of the questions, so hold on one second second while I find that Linda hello Luna hello Cindy hello and uh, everybody else welcome thank you for being here uh, Carla hello and if I could actually uh, get this question that would be amazing <laughs> midnight moon hello and uh, none uh, Foxy hello Deborah hello and Denny's hello Mindy welcome and uh, Susan hello Thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Uh, this is going to take forever, isn't it? Uh, Mara, hello. Thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Uh, I'm just going to start with uh, Andrea. Andrea, thank you for the super chat. You say, how does Derek feel about me? You have the tower here and the Queen of Cups. I feel like there was a falling out here, a tower moment, and I feel like there could be like new love coming into this situation here. So I do feel like there could be – I feel I do feel a change here. Eight of Swords, I don't know, but I, I don't know if this is someone setting themselves free in this situation or what this is for you here. Two wants. I don't know. I almost feel like you're moving on from this, Andrea. Uh, so that's that. Uh, TLC for me. Hello. Thank you for the kind words. And uh, Gizmo. Love the name. Thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Mama Takei. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for being here. And uh, Gina. Welcome. Thank you for being here as well. Really appreciate it. Uh, let's see here. Um... Uh, Rob, thank you for the super chat. You say card for the week. Give the Knight of Cups some sort of dream here, Knight of Swords. This is like quick success or quick movement, I feel, for you, Rob. So I do feel like there could be like quick changes coming in for you, um, Rob, and I feel like this will be a good thing. So I feel like there are kind of like uh, good things coming in for you here and like some sort of quick change. Could be like a daily routine change as well, Rob. So uh, that looks amazing. Uh, Mika... Thank you for the super chat. Just a uh, look into my weekend. Been really down. You have the Wheel of Fortune. There could be some sort of turnaround. So I'd say turn that frown upside down, Mika. I feel like there could be a turnaround coming for you. Some sort of change. Look at this. Death, transformation in the Wheel of Fortune. So I do feel like there's a positive change coming in for you. Uh, Mika, again, you say, is that person that hurt me? Re uh, I do feel like there are regrets. Look, Five of Cups. Five of Cups is a card of regrets and sadness. So Mika, I would say, yes, I feel like there are regrets. Uh, Tiffany, thank you for the super chat. What's going on with Daniel regarding me and our relationship? Is he coming home? Nine of Cups of Wish, Wish Fulfillment, Ace of Swords. I'd say yes, I think there will be communication at the very least here is what I'd say to you. And could be some sort of um, wish fulfillment as well with that Nine of Cups. So I'd say yes. Uh, Jeanette, thank you for the super chat you say. Just letting you know Virgo came through. And congratulations. Um, yeah, congratulations. <laughs> I feel like you're being open to this and seeing where it goes. Uh, MK, thank you for the super chat. What kind of relationship um, will I have with gemini boss is he going to be a king I, I don't think so empress a lot of abundance a lot of success here so i'd say no i think things will be fine uh jessica thank you for the super chat yesterday you said my person was making a decision what decision is he making also will he uh, be coming forward this week to page wants probably to have a new beginning is what i would say to you um and again i'm not saying you two were together before this i'm just saying like to have a beginning in the first place here six wands probably communication so i think there will be communication here is what i would say to you so i do feel like there will be um <laughs> this court this court is just going to cause problems tonight jessica but i feel like there will be communication uh, Lori D, thank you for the super chat. You say, will I find a job that I'm happy with? Uh, I would say, yes, the fool is a new beginning. So, yes, definitely. Page of Pentacles, definitely a new job. So, yes. You say, what gifts do I have? We, we have all the gifts is what I would say to you, uh, Lori. So, I don't think we are, like, you know, just only have one thing. I feel like we can tap into whatever the heck we want. So, if you want to be a medium, 
If you want to have a clear audience, clear sentience, whatever, uh, you can have it. You just have to practice it. So I feel like we have all gifts, three cups, all gifts. So uh, to me, I feel like we have them all. We just have to practice. Uh, Lisa, thank you for the super chat. What are Nick's true feelings for me? Is he long? I would say yes. Two cups, soulmates in judgment card. I would say yes. I feel like there's like a long-term situation going on here. Two cups is soulmates. So yes. Uh, Anna, thank you for the super chat. Uh, I would get out of your head, Anna. Netawans. Netawans like in and out energy, Anna. So I feel like they're very unpredictable at this time. King of Cups. King of Cups is also kind of like they could be guarding their emotions, I feel, uh, with this energy. Three of Swords, heartbroken. I feel like this is your energy, feeling heartbroken at this time. Page of Swords. I feel like you need to give them a little space for now, but I do feel like that will change in the future. Uh, Heather, thank you for the super chat. You say, I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Uh, can I please have a card for this weekend? Uh, Chariot, Victory, could be a Cancer as well. Eight of Wands, this is like good news coming in for you, Heather. I think you've had good news with me before, or something about good news coming in for you. So I think there could be like positive communication or just good news coming in with this energy. That looks good. Uh, Desiree, thank you for the super chat. You say, is the person who is coming to me with an offer, is it a Gemini? Uh, if so, when should I be expecting this? Will we be in a relationship? Six of Swords. I would say, uh, let's see here. What's the next card? Hangman. I, I would say, yes, I think it's possible. Nine of Wands is like someone who's a little bit defensive at this time. Six of Swords is moving on to calmer shores is what I would say to you. And the Hangman is delays. What are these delays? Ace of Pentacles. It's almost like once you move on is when they're going to come towards you, of course. So, um, y you know, I would say I would focus on like other love or other things. And I feel like that's what will bring love into your life with that or could bring them back is, you know, moving on, dating, things like that. Uh, Lore, thank you for the super chat you say here. What would happen if I reached out to Capricorn Strength? I would be patient. Four cups. I feel like they would ignore it right now, but I feel like that will change in the future. By the way, Lore, especially with this um, Strength card, because the Strength card is talking about patience. Yeah, I feel like in the future this would change. So I would give it some time. I wouldn't reach out right away is what I'd say to you. Uh, Gem Princess, thank you for the super chat. Is Daniel going to reach out soon? Is he thinking about me this time? I feel would say yes i think you're like thinking about each other is what i would say to you because you have the magician it's like and, and i'm really focused on this like figure eight that's above the magician's head here for you gem and so i i would say i feel like you're thinking about each other at the same time and i feel like they will reach out in the near future uh daisy thank you for the super chat you say here can you pick a card for me to see what's coming in the future career and love ten of cups fortune after difficulty uh, very good for dating so if you are looking for love i would get out there and date for sure with this ten of cups i would like all your fears of being like hurt as well with the seven of swords and the six of cups could be thinking about someone from the past daisy but i really feel like this is like a soulmate coming in for you so i almost feel like this is like new love coming in for you and uh for career you have the ace of wands new beginning in career this could be like a new opportunity um um, you know, raise, promotion, something new coming in for you in career. Love it. Uh, Aquarius1111, thank you for the super chat. You say, should I make life-changing moves for Pisces or am I being played? You have the Nine of Pentacles, the Devil. Devil is toxic energy, Ten of Wands here. I don't really feel like you're being played, though, is what I would say to you. I, I don't like this right here, the devil with the nine of wands, if I'm being honest with you. It, I feel like they need to put more work in, is what I'd say to you. I, I, like, make sure, that, uh, like, what the weird message I'm getting is make sure this is balanced. Like, I don't think there's anything wrong with this situation, is what I would say to you, but I just feel like you need to make sure that everything is balanced here with that ten of wands, the devil, nine of pentacles. They could be, like, a little bit independent. They're Pisces. So, you know, they could kind of, I wouldn't say they're selfish or anything like that. I just think they could maybe um, be a little bit more on the independent side of things here. Yeah, I think you need to follow a plan. I wouldn't rush this, is what I'd say to you. I don't think there's anything wrong here. I just feel there needs to be balance. I feel like there needs to be equal give and take in the situation, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like they need to put a little bit more work in or show that they're more, a little bit more serious before you make the investment. I feel like if you do that, that'll be a good thing. Uh, I feel like it'll lead to, you know, a positive outcome. Uh, Jessica, thank you for the super chat. Should I apply for a new position? Ah, uh, yep, definitely. So, Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles, um, definitely, to me, would represent that. So, yes, definitely. Uh, Six of Pentacles, something more fair, something a little bit better for you here. So, yes, is what I would say to you, for sure. 
Uh, Andrea, thank you for the super chat cards for the weekend. You have the four wands, freedom, and the queen of pentacles, some sort of new beginning. So I feel like there's like a new path coming in for you here, Andrea. Eight of cups, walking away from things that no longer serve you. So that's like, this is that Saturn and Capricorn energy, kind of like walking away from things that cause problems and challenges. And I feel like a lot of people are doing that right now. So I feel like you're focused on that. Uh, Nanya, thank you for the super chat. Uh, will I get money? I've been waiting for high priestess, sky's the limit here, and the ace of cups. I would say yes. So, uh, this is your emotions overflowing, being very happy. So, yes is what I'd say to you. Uh, Tom, hello. Thank you for being here, by the way. I really appreciate it. And, uh, JC, hello. Thank you for being here. Ninja, welcome. Thank you for being here. Uh, Nanya, thank you again. Nanya says collective at the end. We will definitely be doing a collective uh, at the end uh, for you, uh, Nanya. So thank you, Nanya. Uh, Jennifer R., thank you for the super chat. Why am I not being hired? I'm baffled. I have a great resume and completely open. Will I be financially okay? Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of competition right now, five of wands, lovers. I feel like there will be an option for you to make page of cups. It's like a dream job, really. Uh, I like the page of cups because the page of cups to me uh, can represent some sort of dream opportunity here. Uh, maybe it's not like that amazing, you know, and maybe it's not like something that like totally knocks your socks off, but I do feel like it could be something that's very significant, something that makes you really happy and definitely a solid offer so i do feel like there's a lot of competition and i just feel like it's COVID. you know i, I really don't think there's a good answer for you other than COVID. <laughs> is what i would say to you and uh yeah but i do feel like there's something very good coming in for you soon uh mary thank you for the super chat you say here i got the job can you tell me what will next week's meeting be like uh will i be given responsibility what should i do five of pentacles feeling a little lost i feel like this is normal uh this to me is very obvious um so i feel like this is normal mary at the beginning of a job it's like you're not sure what's going on you're not sure what you should be doing and like all this other stuff just not sure ten of swords feeling a little left out but king of swords i feel like you could be given i i feel like there is a general lack of direction here if i'm being honest with you so i would just make sure to speak up and ask questions because i feel like you could be sitting there being like i have no clue what to do and then you could be like afraid to ask questions i feel like you need to like let go of those fears i feel like you need to um uh, you know, ask questions is what I would say to you. Uh, Mishy says, what is a secret? Uh, Mishy, I can't tell you because then it wouldn't be a secret if I told you what it was. Um, MH, thank you for the super chat. Uh, thank you for the kind words as well. Uh, can you tell me if P surgery will be successful on October? Uh, I'm not a doctor, so do not take this as medical advice, MH, but I'd say yes. You have the world reaching a goal, completing something here. Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is like spoiled for choice, but I would just say yes uh, to you here. So yes, I feel like you will be successful for sure. Um, so that's that. Uh, Austin, what's up, Austin? Thank you for the super chat. I am doing well. Is there any love coming in for me by the end of the year? Five of Swords, feeling independent. I mean, the cards would say no. Three of Wands still is like longing, looking for love is what I'd say to you. The moon, thinking to let go of fears. Of course, as I always say, to me, we can have love whenever we want it. So, um, you know, that's what I would say to you. But um, I would put yourself out there, get out there. I feel like you could find love, but probably in the future, obviously. Three of Wands, definitely like maybe next year. But I feel like you'll have love. Uh, Regina Jackson, thank you for the super chat. I broke up with Patrick, but feel kind of up and down about it. Should I reconcile Hermit to your feeling? I, I, um, King of Pentacles, Temperance. I think you need to be patient. Hermit is kind of says you need to give it some time is what I would say to you. So in a lot of ways, I feel like you need to kind of like hold something back here um, with the Hermit card. The King of Pentacles is kind of like a permanent relationship. Temperance, like really need to think about why you broke up with this person. Three Pentacles. I mean, I feel like they're still willing to work on a team with you is what I would say to you. But, but you obviously broke up with them for a reason. You have Four Pentacles still holding on here. I feel like you need to be more patient in this situation. I feel like you need to not rush right back to them is what I'd say here. Uh, Cindy, thank you for the super chat. Is Salvador the real, uh, the soulmate I've been waiting for? Uh, justice, balance, luck, uh, success, two of swords here, head over heart decision, hair fent, marriage. I would say yes is what I'd say to you. I don't like that two of swords, but two of swords could just be just needing to make the decision to commit to a person. But I would say yes, I feel like this looks pretty good for you. 
Uh, Mindy, hold on one second. Mindy, I lost your question, so let me just back it up. I'm wondering if I'm doing the right thing, leaving my Aquarius. Things feel off. Thank you for the super chat, by the way. You have the uh, Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. I feel like there's still a lot of attraction here. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like you're just not sure if you should invest your heart into the situation any longer with the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles, he's looking at how much work he has put into the situation. He's like, you know, was it worth it, basically, is what he's asking. So I feel like that's the question you're asking. Seven of Wands, it's like they're not opening up emotionally or there isn't enough of an emotional investment in this situation. I feel like you're going to walk away. Uh, Kendall, thank you for the super chat. Feeling a little left out in the cold in my relationship. It doesn't feel like things are going anywhere. Cards where it's going. Four swords. Things feeling left out in the cold. Things are not going anywhere. He is sleeping on this card. He is dreaming of blessings. He's hoping that there will be blessings in this situation, in this uh, stained glass window. Two pentacles. Hoping for more fun in the situation, Star. I feel like you just need more time, Kendall. I feel like the two of you could like uh, work on this or there could be some sort of renewal coming in with the Star card is what I would say to you. Uh, is what I'd say there. Um, so that's that. Um, uh, but Kendall, I feel like really there needs to be more communication. Seven of Swords, worried. Eight of Swords, yeah, I would use your words is what I'd say to you. Um, so I feel like you need to like speak up. Yeah, but I feel like things could actually improve there with the star. Uh, Christina Star, speaking of the star, uh, Christina Star, thank you for the super chat. Uh, Ryan came back. We talked on good terms. My next question, does he want to get back with me? And be more than best friends. Does he miss me? Uh, yeah, yes, 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 yes. So yes, Knight of Cups. He wants more than friends for sure. I don't even need. I didn't even need the cards. Yes. So yes. Uh, Rose, hello. Thank you for the super chat. Um, my day is going well. I know I'm not a doctor. I am definitely not a doctor. Uh, but do the cards, spirit guide, say anything about the about what Tom watch? I, I think you're saying what to watch with for my health. Star, uh, nothing. The star, again, not a doctor, so do not take this as medical advice. The star says make sure to take care of yourself, plain and simple, right? The star is a card of resting, relaxing, renewing, uh, making sure to do that, making sure to feed yourself good foods and make sure to get plenty of rest and all that other good stuff. So I feel like as long as you do that, you'll be good with the star. And just make sure to watch your stress levels and things like that as well uh, with the star card. But love it. Uh, Sage 1111, thank you for the super chat. Worried about finances and advice. Ten of Pentacles, amazing card. Ten of Pentacles, uh, as far as advice is concerned, Ten of Pentacles to me says learn as much as you possibly can. It also says do your research. It's a card of treasure. We don't just find treasure on the side of the road. We have to search for treasure, right? So it can say there's information or something you can learn about business, finances, or whatever that could actually improve your situation. So learn as much as you possibly can. Uh, Kimber, thank you for the sticker. Really appreciate it. Uh, Jennifer M., if you have a question, uh, pop it in down below. Uh, Peaches, love the name. Thank you for the super chat. How does S feel about our connection? Delayed. I feel like they feel delays. Queen of Swords. It's like they want to open up, but why do they have their sword up in this situation? Four of Pentacles. I'm wondering if they're holding on too much to the past or holding on too tightly to past pain, hurts, and like all those other things. Peaches. Uh, Lunatic, thank you for the super chat. Luna. Uh, you say message from spirit, two of swords, head over heart decision, seven of cups. I think you need to really focus on something you want. Seven of cups to me is like drawing, uh, you know, it's being spoiled for choice, but needing to focus on one thing here. The sun, I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of happiness coming in for you here. I feel like there's a lot of good things coming in here. So I like to see that, Luna. High priestess, trust your intuition as well, of course, but uh, I like it. Uh, Jennifer Lopez in the house. Thank you for the super chat. How and when will my true love unfold? Will he move to me? Uh, you have the lovers. Love. I like this in the world. I would say yes. I mean, if you're literally in a long distance relationship, literally moving with the world. So I would say yes. And look, lovers. Love. So I think there's a lot of love here in this situation. Uh, Ava, hello. Thank you for the super chat. Can I have a general read? I'm trying to heal my life and I love my fiance trying to work on finances. Page of Swords, be curious. Ava, the Page of Swords says, be as curious as you possibly can. Learn as much as you possibly can about whatever it is that you're doing, and that will lead to a turnaround. Wheel of Fortune, a lot of luck, a lot of success coming in for you, Ava. So, love it. Uh, Samantha Orloff, thank you for the super chat. Uh, will I reconcile with Reed? Page of Cups, there's a love offer coming in. Seven of Pentacles. I feel like they, they wanted to reconcile like two weeks ago, and I, I feel like they still want to re reconcile is what I feel like saying to you. Two of Cups, yes, yes. I feel like they wanted to reconcile with you like right away. This is the feeling I get for you. So, yes. 
Uh, Jennifer M. Submitted my question separate. Please tell me uh, when will I get out of this awful toxic work situation? Virgo, Pisces rising, seven of wands. This is to us being defensive, king of pentacles here, nine of cups. Like quickly, nine of cups says make a wish. And the seven of wands is like a card of conviction. It's a card of defending yourself is what I'd say to you. So in a lot of ways, I feel like you're probably looking for another job before you leave. And I feel like that's a good idea. So I feel like that might take a little bit of time. Again, I don't do times. I don't trust any psychic that claims they can tell when something is going to happen um, is what I'd say to you. Because I think when number two, I feel like we can make things happen as quickly as we want. But um, I would say I feel like you're looking for something else. Will you find something else? Yes. Ten of cups. Fortune after difficulty. I feel like soon is what I'd say to you. Uh, Kate C, thank you for the super chat. Well, I have favor in spousal court. Yeah, this is going to require work. Typical, I mean, typical energy right now just because of the astrology. Um, you know, I've been talking about this for two years. If you're dealing with something legal or dealing with something with divorce, there's going to be a lot of delays or there's going to be a lot of work that goes into this right now. But yeah, I feel like you'll be fine. Eight of Pentacles. Uh, Sarai, thank you for the super chat. Will the unfinished business be settled between a past person and I? Yep, Ace of Cups, emotion, uh, you know, your emotions overflowing, being very happy. So I would say yes for sure. Uh, and Sorensen, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. You say, when will I meet love again in my life? Uh, where he also loves me and will it be with a past person you have the moon let go of your fear six of swords i feel like it's a new person with the six of swords here king of wands probably a fire sign judgment judgment could be someone from the past but i really feel like it's a new person with that six of swords um you know so i i feel like this is a new person is what i would say to you someone who is like more driven more successful someone who wants to put the work in so i feel like it's a new person is what i'd say to you i feel like that judgment card is just saying you will feel it like you will feel a very strong pull to this person basically so that's what i have for you but anyway hey uh, i'm late so let's get started here people uh, i feel like using regular tarot tonight if that's okay with everybody so i haven't done just straight tarot in a while so um let's just do straight up tarot tonight i'm gonna switch decks every uh, four signs as well so let's see what we have for you aries people and uh aries so let's see here aries uh, Aries, you have the Five of Wands here and the Hangman. Experiencing delays due to conflict at this time is what I feel for you here, Aries. I feel like some of you could be holding yourself back from a new beginning, a beautiful new beginning as well with the Empress card here. So I feel like some of you need to not be afraid to take some sort of leap of faith. I, if I'm being honest with you, I don't really remember what your... Um, I did your mid-monthly reading this morning, and that will be coming out on Sunday, Aries. And um, I don't remember what it was, but it was good. Good. I think you had the death card twice, and I get like the kind of the same feeling here um, with this energy in your reading that there could be like something that you need to release or let go of. And releasing something here uh, will lead to a lot of success. So I like this. I feel like there could be a major new beginning, something that leads to this Empress energy for sure. So I feel like there is a lot of success uh, coming in for you with this energy. Um, but it, there is a need to like move away from something. I feel like like a repeat, repetitive cycle or something like that is popping into my head here. You don't really have any cards that would represent a cycle. Actually, all your cards re would represent moving on to new beginnings. Seven of Pentacles in the Fool card as well is like having some taking some sort of leap of faith seven of pentacles change in direction so i feel there's a major change here it's like you're ending a difficult cycle with these cards uh you have the seven of pentacles and nine of cups definitely heading towards a wish again i feel like you see wish fulfillment somewhere else it's kind of weird i get three of wands vibes from this fool it's almost like he's standing at the edge of this uh, cliff and he's looking out into the distance kind of like the three of wands it's like he's looking at what could be coming into his life he's seeing all this beauty that could be showing up for him and that's where i feel like you are at at this time uh is what i'd say to you so i do feel like there could be a lot of abundance and success coming in for you but probably due to some sort of change. I feel that for some of you, I feel like saying that something's getting cut in half here, but this is like a good thing. <laughs> I feel like this could be work-related here, uh, Aries. I f almost feel like some of you could be getting into a position where maybe it's like less work but more money. Like this feels like a good one of those positive types of changes where it's like maybe you're actually getting something where it's less hours but it's more money. So it could be like a new job. Maybe it's very – I feel like it would be very similar to what you're doing now, but I just feel like there's maybe um, better pay. So I do feel like some of you could be getting better pay. I do feel like this could be involving um, like travel or moving. 
especially with this here, the Fool and the Empress, this to me says that some sort of change, some sort of new beginning is going to lead to a ton of abundance. So I feel for some of you Aries people that this could be like a new job, new business and something or something that leads to a lot of abundance, but it's going to require some sort of change. You had a ton of stuff, if I remember correctly, about um, change or about some sort of ending or about needing to move in your uh, mid-monthly reading. Again, that will be out on Sunday. And um, so it wouldn't really surprise me if some of you had to take some sort of leap of faith or if you were called to adventure, if you were called to make some sort of change. I feel like that's where a lot of uh, financial improvements will be coming in for you here. You definitely heard it. There is an element of having earned things with the Empress. Like this robe that she's wearing, it's supposed to represent something heavy. It's supposed to represent something that weighs a lot. But it kind of says that she earned it. You know, So I feel like in a lot of ways, whatever you're getting at this time, you earned it. So love it. That looks amazing, Aries. Uh, thank you, Aries. Uh, let's see what we have for you, Taurus people and Taurus. Uh, Taurus, you have the world. You. You show up right here, over here. Uh, that actually looks like a sad goat, but it's supposed to be you, a Taurus. So Knight of Pentacles working towards success here. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of success coming in for you here, uh, Taurus. So I like that. Definitely like wrapping things up with this world card. I feel for some of you, it's like you're completing cycles and ending things in your life right now, probably multiple things. And the Knight of Pentacles, I feel like you're just getting ready for your next great adventure. The problem is, I feel like some of you maybe just want a break with these next two cards. So I do feel for some of you that there is a desire to take a break or there is a desire to um, take a pause before you jump into your next thing in life. But I really feel like the cards are saying you need to keep this momentum going. So I know you could be tired, but I feel like now is the time to work. Um, I always tell people like during Mars retrograde, uh, for example, like we have Mars retrograde right now. And with Mars retrograde, we could be feeling tired, we could be feeling exhausted, and things like that. But the thing with Mars retrograde is everybody else is feeling that way as well. So if there was ever a time where like in business or something like that, you could destroy your competition, it's right now. Uh, same thing in love as well. Like trust me, it's a desert out there right now in love, right? Everybody's afraid of COVID. But for the people who are afraid, and I'm not saying that you shouldn't be afraid, or anything like that but I'm just saying there are ways to like socially distance date and things like that like I said you can flash each other with your masks off that's sexy nowadays right so there are ways to do it it's like if you're willing to do it you're one of the few so you know I feel like your reading is saying be one of the few right now who is willing to step out into the world this could be literally and again I'm not saying take unnecessary ridiculous risks with your health obviously do this safely I feel like I shouldn't have to clarify this I feel like this should be common sense but you know people still get all up on me for for saying these things and so there you go but anyway uh, if you're smart enough if you're not one of those dumb people, right, uh, that can't read between the lines, then I would say get out into the world. There could be a lot of dating opportunities, a lot of success for you. Same thing in, in business as well. I feel like there could be a lot of success. Uh, you have the Ten of Wands and the Queen of Swords feeling tired. Uh, but like I said, your competition in business and work also feel tired. So now is your chance. Now is your opportunity to get out there and uh, destroy your competition in business or work. Same thing in love as well. Like I said, it's a desert out there. So you might as well get out there. You might as well uh, meet as many people as you possibly can uh, with this energy. Because I feel like there's a lot of opportunity for you with the Queen of Swords. I feel like you could be getting a lot of attention as well. But I feel like you have to be open to it for others i for some reason i do feel like some of you could be dealing with the difficult people it could be any gender by the way I, I just feel like they're coming up as a queen of swords person in your life and i feel like this could be someone who just causes problems at work i do feel like some of you could be feeling burdened by like jealousy or gossip at work so uh yeah I would like let go. I would be I would be careful of like anyone jealous. I don't think it's like a big deal. I think like it's just saying that someone could be causing problems and you know, I would just ignore it. Uh, but your outcome, ten of cups in the uh, also the eight of wands as well. A quick success coming in for you. So I feel like there's a lot of success coming in for you with the eight of wands. Ten of cups, fortune after difficulty. I like this. Definitely could be communication. As well, I do feel like some of you could be receiving good news coming in for you with the Eight of Wands, something that makes you happy. Uh, for those of you looking at for love, again, Eight of Wands, card of socializing to find love. And the Ten of Cups, to me, is a card of dating. And for others, 
I feel like this could just be good for anything else you're doing. Could be good for business as well. If you're like looking to be successful in business, this could be good for um, networking. Uh, both these cards together are good for networking, uh, good for social media as well. So again, if you're in business, working in social media or kind of building up uh, social media following is a really good idea with these cards as well. I feel like it comes up a lot for you, uh, Taurus. So I feel like anything involving social media would be very successful for you uh, financially. But love it. Thank you, Taurus. Uh, Gemini, let's see here. Uh, Gemini. Uh, Gemini, you have the Four Pentacles Temperance card. I feel like you need to be patient at this time. It's like you're holding on to something here, some sort of foundation. What is this here, Gemini? Yeah, I feel like you need to open up to something here. I feel like some of you need to be patient. I feel like for some of you, it's like saying, this is saying that you can have whatever you want in your life. And I feel like you need to realize that. I feel like you need to be patient here, Gemini. Ace of Cups, there's something you really want, Gemini. I feel like I say this to you every single night. I feel like you need to kind of like really move towards something that you desire here. Uh, it could be love because you have the lovers here. It doesn't have to be love. This could just be something um, that you are working on or working towards yourself. I say that again because you have the eight of pentacles and the lovers. Number one, some of you could be working towards a love offer or there could be um, a person or people that you see that you want to be in love with and you could be working towards that. The lovers could also be you, Gemini, and I always say that the Eight of Pentacles to me can represent working on yourself. To me, it is a very good card for kind of, um, you know, personal development work, um, you know, anything like that, uh, health, working on your health things along those lines. So I do feel like any work that you're doing on yourself would be a good idea. Uh, also amazing for training in business, Eight of Pentacles or work. So if you're kind of like working on something in work or business, there could be a lot of success for you with the Eight of Pentacles. I do feel like for some of you, someone's willing to put in the work uh, in love. So I do feel if you're looking for love, this could be someone coming in for you here. Page of Swords. I feel like you're, why do I feel like you're spying on this person? For some of you, I feel like either you or a person has their eye on you. But I feel like it's like spying like through social media or someone could be watching you online or something like that here, Gemini. I don't know. I feel like this person's willing to put in the work. For some of you, I do feel like you know who this person is. For some of you, here. I feel like it's like true love. So as creepy as that sounds, I feel like there's true love here, Gemini, whatever the situation is. It's like someone who's really willing to put in the work. I feel like saying this person will prove it as well. So if you're looking for love, I feel like it like I feel like it's obvious. I feel like this person, like I feel like everything about them will speak for itself. It's like they don't have to say anything, you know, because it's just like you know, the relationship will be that obvious. So if you're looking for love, I feel like that's what you're looking for. I feel like this is what you should be looking for as well, is what I'd say to you, Gemini. So if you're looking for new love, I feel like there's something that will just speak for itself. Like there's no the, like, this person won't have to brag. This person person won't have to do, um, you know, anything at all uh, in, you know, to get your attention or anything. It's like everything just speaks for itself with this person. No, nope, you don't have anybody specific showing up here, which is weird. You do have that page of swords here, but I just feel like it's saying that you do have Sagittarius here as well. I don't really feel like it's a Sagittarius. Could be a fire sign, could be anything, but uh, you know, I feel like the situation speaks for itself. For others, I feel like you're kind of like juggling at this time. You could be dealing with a lot. Um, you could be uh, dealing with like some challenges in your life with the two of pentacles, like trying to balance things out. I just feel like you're trying to bring things into balance here, Gemini, or you're trying to balance out your life. The four of cups is saying like there are probably like a million ways or probably a bunch of things that could help you uh, balance your life out, but you just need to accept those offers with the four cups. For others, I do feel like for some of you, someone could have left you uh, because they thought the grass was greener on the other side here, Gemini, Nine of Pentacles. I don't know. I feel like you're focused on yourself, though. <laughs> so if that happened, it's like you're having your glow up here with the Nine of Pentacles. Wouldn't even worry about it. For others, I feel like you're just focused on money, but you're probably focused on um, ways to make more money with that Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles to me is pretty specific because Eight of Pentacles to me can represent more money, but to me, it really just represents having a very strong desire to make more money. So it's like you're just like learning ways that could make you more money. You could be uh, studying being, um, learning. You could be going through training and work or business, something along those lines. So it's like you're really focused on your finances. Uh, you could also be very focused on the small details in your finances with these cards. For others, I do feel like money could be getting in the way of a situation. So if you're dealing with a weird love situation, I feel like money could be kind of like getting all up in all up, all tangled up in this situation, whatever it is here, Gemini. But uh, there you go. Thank you, Gemini. Uh, cancer, let's see here, cancer people. 
Uh, Cancer, you have the Nine of Wands here and the Nine of Swords. Uh, I feel like you could be worried about something, obviously. Let's clarify through here. I feel like you're f fearful that if you invest in a situation that you won't get um, anything back from the situation. So maybe you're afraid if you invest in love with a person that you're always going to be the one that's kind of like hoping to get more out of it is what I feel like saying. You have this death card, which is weird, but um, this person is almost, it's almost like this person is begging the Death Rider here uh, for their life. And I feel like for some of you, it's like maybe in the past you've gotten into relationships and it's almost like you've had to like beg for attention or you've had to, um, it's almost like, I'm not saying that you have begged for it. I'm just saying it's almost like you've had to beg for attention or maybe you've had to really always been putting in more work into these love situations that you get yourself into. And I feel like some of you are like worried about that. I feel like you're just wanting to uh, get away from those situations. And again, here you go. You have the uh, death card and the six of pentacles. So like I said, I feel like for some of you, it's almost like you're like always begging your person for love and, or hoping for love, but they're always giving it to other things. Six of pentacles can represent kind of like giving to two different situations. It doesn't have to be a third party situation. It could just be that your person maybe uh, or past people have always focused too much on work or maybe they focus on business or maybe they focus on having fun with the boys or maybe they play too much who knows what you know maybe they're always out doing something playing too much call of duty or something like that so i feel like for some of you it's like you're always fighting for attention i feel like you don't want that i feel like that's what you're trying to avoid here for others, I just feel like this could be like an unfair work situation that you want to bring to an end. Six of Pentacles, to me, I like the Six of Pentacles, but I also don't. Uh, to me, the Six of Pentacles can represent a boss that is not paying enough or that is withholding finances or something. So I feel like for some of you, it's like you're just hoping for a new work situation with these cards. Now, you do end with the Nine of Swords and the Moon. A lot of fears here. Six of Wands, I feel like you will be successful in this situation uh, the seven of swords can represent lying cheating stealing but in a lot of ways i feel like this is just you protecting yourself on the seven of swords it's like this guy he is taking these swords from this army back here cancer and it kind of represents the fact that well we could we actually don't know with the seven of swords but we could say that he is taking those swords so that they can't be used against him in the future so i'm wondering if you're kind of like taking it um, protecting yourself here and you're protecting yourself with this moon card as well uh i I do feel like for some of you, you're actually willing to go on this journey. So I feel for some of you, you could be starting a new journey like in work or business and there could be a lot of fears, but I feel like ultimately there's a lot of success coming in for you here. Uh, for others, I'm wondering if this is a small win that's coming in for you here. I, I think it was you, Cancer. Again, your monthly reading will be out tomorrow. Uh, your mid-monthly reading, I should say, will be out tomorrow. Uh, and there was, I think it was you that had the fish. I'm not sure, but um, I feel that for a lot of you, this is talking about a small win. That fish card is about having a small win or kind of like overcoming some sort of obstacle. And it says like overcoming obstacles or challenges or just like one tiny little thing, having those small wins will lead to a lot of success for you here. Four Swords, definitely protecting yourself at this time. So I feel like in a lot of ways you are protecting yourself right now with this energy. Eight of Swords, I do feel like there will come, I, not right now, but I feel like, you know, I would say keep protecting yourself, right? If you're in protective mode, if you're in this mode of healing and all this other stuff, I would say keep doing it, right, Cancer? But I do feel like in the future there will be a need for you to get out of this Eight of Swords energy. I feel like right now you're fine. So again, I wouldn't even worry about it, but I'm just saying like in the future, I feel like there will be a need for you to open up if you want love. I feel like you have to open back up here or I feel like you'll there will come a time where you're going to need to leave this like protective um, mode is what I'd say to you. Yeah, you're going to have to have a new beginning in the future, but I feel like you're going to have to set yourself free to do that here, Cancer. But there you go. Uh, thank you, Cancer. Uh, all right, Leo, like I said, I'm going to switch every uh, four signs tonight. So uh, we are going to switch here for Leo and let's see what we have for you leo people and leo here we go leo all right uh leo you have the seven of pentacles here and the ten of pentacles love it uh i feel like there are like more financial opportunities or increases in your finances coming in in the near future but 
I feel like you're going to have to be patient to have this. For others, this could represent making a change here uh, that could lead to an increase in your finances. Um, the problem that I always have with like a combination like this is the fact that y you know y what you have could be good. So you know you could have a job and you could be making plenty of money at that job, but this could be saying there's just something better. But you know if we have a job already and we're getting paid enough, then there's really no reason for us to look for something else, right? So this to me can kind of this co type of combination can just say that you're not necessarily looking for something else, but there could be some benefits or there could be something better for you financially. Um, but you're gonna have to kind of like go and look. For it. Seven of Pentacles is a little bit challenging as well. I feel for you, Leo, it's not really a challenging card, but I do feel like it's asking you to really examine like your worth in a job or financially. So you might be looking and saying like, you know, is this really worth my time? Is is what I'm doing paying me my worth? Or is it just seven pentacles when I could be getting 10 pentacles? So I feel like there is a lot of opportunities for you here with the 10 of pentacles, but I think you're gonna have to like look into it uh, with this energy. You do have the six of wands in the moon. This to me represents pushing yourself to a point where you've probably never pushed yourself before leo so this could also represent like an increase in your finances but it could also represent needing to like work twice as hard to increase your finances uh, with this energy here so I do get like a little bit of a hustle type energy here in these cards. Like you're either having to hustle or you are, I would say you're choosing to hustle, to hustle here. And again, you're, uh, the good news also is that you're probably making the money. Obviously, six of wands here, the ten of pentacles. So if you're choosing to hustle, maybe you're choosing to like double down on your business. Maybe you're choosing to work extra hard, whatever the case may be. Uh, I do feel like this is like a good thing for you, Leo. So I feel like there's like a lot of success and abundance coming in for you with this energy. For others, I get something written here. It's like you're waiting for written news here, Leo. Net of Pentacles. I do feel like there could be like news coming in in writing or written news coming in for you is what I keep getting here. And it's like news that you've been waiting for. So I do feel like there could be like written news or there is news in writing coming in for you here. And I feel like it's good news. So I like that. And uh, finally, you have the Ten of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. Again, here's all the extra work that you're doing, this Ten of Wands. Uh, I don't always look at the Ten of Wands as a bad card. I know a lot of people do read it as a challenging card. But as I always say, I mean, challenges are not necessarily a bad thing in life. And so I feel like for some of you, this could just represent extra burdens in your life, but just like extra responsibilities, which will probably lead to extra money for you here, Leo. So I feel like there could be a lot of success coming in. For others, I just feel like you are, like I feel for those of you looking for love here, let's see, King of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you're just like, like dealing with everything else. In, as far as love is concerned so it's like maybe you want love but it's like you're having to deal with too much other stuff in your life so I do feel like for some of you maybe at this current moment you're not necessarily focused on love some of you obviously it's not gonna be true for all of you but for some of you I feel like you could be focusing on other things or you do have to focus on other things with this energy and it's like you're trying to like split your time with this uh, six of Pentacles King of Swords here Five of Pentacles. Yeah, I do feel like some of you are feeling left out in the cold. Again, this is just a daily reading. So, you know, just because there isn't love showing up today doesn't mean there's not love coming in in the near future. But there you go. Thank you, Leo. Uh, Virgo, let's see here, Virgo people. Uh, Virgo, you have the Knight of Wands here and the Lovers. Uh, this could be love charging into your life here. And definitely, I feel like this person is a little bit handsy. So I feel like you need to tell them to slow things down and keep their hands to themselves here, Virgo. Because I do feel like this person could be more like want to rush here with this card. So I feel like for some of you, you need to tell someone to like sl slow it down, basically, uh, with this energy. But... I do feel like this could be good luck coming in for you here. Could be a fire sign. You keep getting a fire sign in your reading. So wouldn't really surprise me if it's either someone who's just too damn sexy here, Virgo, or if it's someone that, uh, you know, is a fire sign. Like I said, could be any sign, but fire definitely stands out to me here. For others, I feel that this could be a new opportunity for you. Definitely an opportunity for adventure. You have the world, the Knight of Swords here, and the Hermit. Uh, all these cards would represent adventure. Knight of Wands as well. Something spontaneous, something new, something that will force you to grow with the Hermit card. Probably something that will force you to mature with this Hermit card as well. So this could be like starting a business, uh, traveling, moving, uh, mo moving so that you can start a job, moving so 
that you can start a business, anything that you w would be kind of like a rite of passage in a lot of ways with the uh, Hermit card. So the Hermit card isn't really a rite of passage, but it's popping into my head intuitively as a rite of passage. So that's what I feel there. Uh, next, you have the world and the Knight of Swords. Definitely something requiring quick movement. Again, I I would be careful of someone who like wants to move too quickly in love. I feel like there, this could be a decent love connection that's coming in for you. But I feel like if it, if it moves too quickly, I feel like it'll be like I feel like this person is just like trying to touch you a little bit too soon. I mean, if you want to be touched, obviously there's not a problem with that. But I'm just saying, like I'm trying to keep it PG here. But I feel like this person wants to move a little bit quickly. If you catch my drift, if you don't, ask your mom when you get older. Obviously, right? But uh, what I would say here is that this person wants to move a little too quickly I feel like you need to like slow things down with this person because again I, I just feel like if you aren't ready and all this other stuff I think it'll just ruin the connection but I feel like if you tell them what you want I feel like things will go well for others, I feel like this is like moving or traveling. I get this like back and forth thing in my head for you, Virgo. I feel like for some of you, this feels very specific. And I'm like, I feel like for some of you, it's like you could have moved and then you move back to where you're from or there's like some sort of back and forth uh, moving situation here. But I feel like there's gonna, about to be a move again, 10 of swords. For some of you, I'm wondering if you like moved somewhere, then you move back and you're like, wait a minute, I actually do hate this. So then you're gonna move again. Um, for others, I'm wondering if you went back to a job here uh, with this energy is what I'm picking up on here. So I feel like for some of you, it's almost like maybe you got a new job. Maybe you had a job. Maybe you quit. Then you went back to it. It might not be the same job. It could just be in the same industry as well I'm getting. But now I feel like you're not like, no, I actually I do hate this job. So uh, or I do hate this job that I work or the type of job. You know, it's like maybe you work in a certain field or a certain industry and maybe you're just deciding you don't like it. So you're moving on to something new. You have the Queen of Swords and the Hermit. You're almost ready uh, for something new is what I would say to you here. The Hermit to me is like having is you and it's also you having climbed to the top of a mountain and now you're getting ready to shine your inner light. I think you need to let something out. I always say this to you, Virgo, something about famous, something about you being famous, devil. I think you need to let go of toxic situations, toxic people, people who tell you you can't be famous. For some of you, it wouldn't surprise me if you were getting a lot of attention. Again, maybe you're not literally becoming famous, but you could be getting a lot of attention in work or business, and this could be leading to raises or promotions. You could be getting a lot of attention just from people. This could be leading to love. I feel like you need to not hold back with this energy here. It's almost just like there's some sort of stumbling block that you have to overcome is what I would say to you. It's like, I, but I feel like a skip is what's popping into my head. Like you could skip something or you can just skip something here. It's like sometimes I think maybe we start something new like um like i have a new youtube channel right and for whatever reason it's just like so awkward um <laughs> shooting videos for that channel probably because i have nothing in my hands right on that channel and it's so weird you'd think that after like six years um i've been on camera for longer than six years and you think i would like know that, like how to act and things like that but i still come off like i am brand spanking new on that channel right and but i feel like we can skip that right we can skip that beginning step and that's what i'm trying to explain to you here i think there's like some sort of beginning step that you can just skip by just stepping into the energy it's almost like act as if i feel like i said this to you last night virgo i think like you just need to act as if you either are something or you already have something and i feel like that'll kind of like lead to a lot of progress here uh, is what i'd say to you but i don't know i like it thank you virgo uh libra let's see here uh, libra people what is going on for you here uh libra you have the um high priestess the five of cups there's regrets going on in a situation are these yours or someone else's is the question here libra three wands here i feel like this will be a regret if you don't make a move i feel like something has a lot of potential in your life here and i feel like you need to get moving on it whatever it is this could be like a new work opportunity business opportunity it could be love as well I feel like this three of wands is saying like, um, you know, have your, uh, take your leap of faith. I think you need to have a leap of faith, like a fool type situation here towards something. The high priestess really says there's something that has a lot of, op uh, a lot of potential. High priestess is a card of poten potential in your life <laughs> and that's it. And the, uh, five of cups is a card of needing to kind of let go of, some regrets that you could have so i feel that for some of you i'm wondering if like you did something in the past that's what's popping into my head 
It's like there could be almost like a second chance coming into your life right now. And there could be regrets from the past that are preventing this second chance in your life. Four of Pentacles, holding on too tightly to the past. So I'd let go of the past here, Libra. You have the Seven of Cups and the Justice card. You can have whatever you want. So I feel like you need to uh, let go of things from the past. Seven of Cups is saying you are spoiled for choice. And I feel like you need to like focus on exactly what you want in your life with that Seven of Cups. I feel like that will lead to a lot of success. Justice is like a card of balance here. So I feel like you are kind of like um, balancing things out in your life with the Justice card. I feel like this is your energy as well here, Libra. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, you're probably looking for love situations, love opportunities where someone is more working on a team with you here. For others, I do feel like there is a change for you like in work here um so for some of you this could be like an opportunity that you're not going to want to miss here with the high priestess here and also was this your card too three wants so i feel like there's a need for you to um kind of like take a leap of faith or um kind of like jump towards something in your life and i feel like this could be like a leadership role or leadership opportunity uh it's something that where you are going to stand out here libra with the three of pentacles because three of pentacles is a card of quality work so uh and it can represent getting attention uh for, or getting you know raise or promotion even because of um quality work that you have done with the three of pentacles and uh, finally, you have the Eight of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. A lot of luck coming in for you here, Libra. So I feel like there is a lot of luck coming in here uh, with this energy. I feel like there is also a turnaround as well. This is like needing to let go of something, though. Eight of Swords is self-imposed restriction, needing to walk away from this energy. I feel like she's standing in a very shallow pool of water down here, Libra, if that's going to show up on my camera. And it just represents the fact that th there are like very shallow emotions or that you could have worries and fears that are keeping you stuck but these worries and fears could be very very shallow you know that they basically don't exist is what the eight of swords says so definitely a turnaround ace of cups could be a love offer uh like i said i do feel like there could be love coming in for you here it could be any sign and i feel like maybe you could have some hang-ups from past relationships or whatever but i let that go i feel like there could be something good coming in for you here with that ace of cups that looks amazing uh thank you libra uh scorpio let's see what we have for you scorpio people scorpio let's see what's going on here uh scorpio people uh scorpio you have the six of cups here and the page of cups definitely a love offer coming in for you here probably a water sign i would say i feel like this is a new person i feel like it's probably a soulmate so i feel like you have your eye on a person why do i feel like you have your eye on a person here knight of cups knight in shining armor look at this this is amazing is what i would say to you so i feel like for a lot of you that this could be a either i feel like this is someone you have your eye on though but do they know that you're watching them, Scorpio? You little Scorpio creeps? That's the question here. I feel like this is love coming in for you. If it's not love that you already have uh, in your life, maybe, maybe, maybe they, maybe you are in love with them, but maybe they don't know. Like I said, or maybe they don't know it yet that there's love here. But I feel like they will. <laughs> so I feel like this is like love for sure. Definitely a soulmate. And I feel like it's a very mature person as well. For some of you, I do feel like this person could have children, or you have children. I'm not sure which direction this is going in. Somebody could have children here. For others, I feel like this is someone who is very childlike. It's like they're very mature, but I also feel like they know how to let loose. So like a good a good type of person to be with, right? It's like some people are just either too serious or they're just too immature. I feel like this person is very serious, but I also feel like they are very immature as well, like all at the right times. So I feel like this would be a good, like fun person to be with. I don't know. I like those types of people. So I feel like it'd be like a good, fun person to be with and someone that you will really enjoy, especially if you're looking for love here. Uh, you have the Empress and the Four Swords. I feel like you're worried for some of you, you're wondering, like, am I attractive enough for this person? Maybe you're wondering if this is the right moment to approach a person as well. I would say yes. I would just go for it. It looks like there's going to be a quick celebration here for you, Scorpio. So I feel like this could be, like, a good love connection for you if you're looking for love. Um, so this is, like, definitely a good love sit uh, situation. Uh, again, for others, this could just be someone... Uh, who is uh, going to be coming in for you again. Take this for how it resonates. This could be like the other person that's watching you is what I'd say to you. But this is definitely um, love coming in for you here with this energy. And I feel like it could be... Uh 
definitely a lot of traction. There's like major blessings coming in for you here. I must get like power couple vibes from this energy as well, Scorpio. It's like, you know, this person is being blessed in the stained glass window up here, Scorpio, but I almost feel like you're both being blessed. It's almost like this is a divinely guided connection that could be coming in for you here if this is love. I feel like it's new. I, I'm not saying this is going to come in tomorrow necessarily. I feel like this is something that's going to obviously take time because, you know, you know, could it? Yes, but I feel like it could take time. Could be another water sign. Could be an earth sign I'm getting as well here. And um, I feel like you're going to have to be pa uh, patient, but I do feel like this could be a deep connection, one with a lot of abundance coming in for you here as well. And uh, you have the Three of Cups and the Temperance card. Definitely a major celebration uh, being with this person. Like I said, I feel like you're going to need to be patient uh, with this um, uh temperance card so i feel like it's going to take a little bit of time but i do feel like this could be someone very good for you is what i'd say for others i'm wondering part of me feels like um part of me feels like for some of you it's like you're dealing with someone where it's like you get maybe you both are in a very similar situation as what's popping to mad like you both maybe just got out of a relationship so it could be like a little bit tender or you know it could be one of those things where you're gonna have to take your time because it's like you're both maybe healing from something here but it's like i feel like it's like a divinely guided connection magician you attracted this you both attracted this here in your life this is like a divinely guided connection is what I'd say to Scorpio. I don't say that lightly, right? I basically don't do love readings. I try to avoid it <laughs> for, for the mo for the most part. But uh, what what I would say is that I feel like this could be a divinely guided connection. I feel like you both attracted each other. Um, if this is love coming in for you, because it's like one of those things where it's like you were both in the same place. Maybe you're both, uh, maybe you, you both had a person, you both got out of a relationship. Maybe it was a very deep connection. And it's like both people are in something very similar, and that's what attracted or will be attracting you to this person. Like that will be attracting it into your life. Uh, for others, I feel like this is you. Again, I know a lot of readers read the Queen of Cups as uh, Cancer. I personally read Queen of Cups as Scorpio. And uh, so to me, this is your energy here. And I feel like there's just a lot of success coming in for you. And a lot of abundance with this energy so i feel like there's a lot of good stuff um uh, coming in for you here i also feel that this could be just you manifesting a new beginning i feel like you're ending some sort of cycle here it's like a, some sort of repetitive cycle again if you're not interested in love i feel like this whole reading is saying you're walking you're go moving towards abundance but you're ending a cycle from the past with that six of cups doesn't have to be love again this could be like work or a financial cycle it's like you're putting something in bed i feel like saying but this could be maybe you always like uh, run out of money or maybe you always have like some sort of bill that pops up i feel like you're ending some sort of difficult cycle here Scorpio love it thank you Scorpio uh, all right Sagittarius so let's see what we have for you uh, Sagittarius people and um, Sagittarius let's see what we have going on for you here uh, welcome to all 630 people that we have here on a Friday. That is insane because normally Friday is a slow night. So thank you everybody for being here. Uh, make sure to drop a like on this video. I really appreciate all the support. Also, uh, just so everybody knows um, that uh, tomorrow the water and earth sign mid-monthly readings will be up on the channel. And then on Sunday, fire and air will be going up on Sunday for the middle of the month. And that'll be that. And of course, the weeklies will start right away on Monday. So I'm, I'm blasting y'all with a ton of videos, but um, it is what it is, right? So uh, let's see here, Sagittarius, what we have going on for you here. Uh, Sagittarius people, what is going on for you? Uh, Sagittarius, you have the Queen of Wands here and the world. Very attractive at this time, Sagittarius. So if you are looking for love, I feel like there could be love coming in for you here with this energy. This could be someone, I feel like very, I feel, I feel very pregnant is what I would say to you, Sagittarius. <laughs> so... <laughs> I, I've never been pregnant before, not that I know of, right? But I do feel very pregnant at this time. Weird. So I feel like you could be uh, launching something new or you could be starting something new here. I feel like that'll be good, especially if this is business related. This could be new love as well. I feel like you're very attractive at this time. Like I said, I feel like you could be dating. You could be meeting new people. I'd say don't get pregnant here. Nine of Cups, definitely some sort of wish coming in for you here, Sagittarius. But I would be very careful of pregnancy anything having to do with pregnancy, all of that other stuff. So I'd be careful with that. For others, I feel that you are putting your heart and soul into something with this Queen of Wands. 
Queen of Wands is everything you want in your life. I mean, Queen of Wands is wholehearted energy. It's like she will put her heart and soul into something to make sure it happens. So whatever you want, put your heart and soul into it and you'll be successful, plain and simple. You have the uh, Six of Pentacles here and the um, the Page of Swords here. Feeling very curious at this time is what I would say to you here. So I feel like you are feeling very curious about what here. You are very curious about how to get this attention <laughs> is what I would say to you. So for some of you, you could be wondering like why someone is giving you a lot of attention. You have the Six of Wands here as well. It's like maybe someone all of a sudden is showing interest in you and you're just like, why, um, you know, um, you know, why do I, uh, why are they interested in me? So I'd say, number one, you have two choices. Number one, I'd say don't question it, right? Especially if you're looking for love. Uh, number two, I'd say you could just be like, hey, why are you interested in me? Plain and simple. For others, I'm wondering, it's like you're waiting for good news, but it's like you keep just getting, I feel like you're just getting breadcrumbed, like in a lot of ways, especially if you're involved in like an official uh, situation here. Now, this could be like a work situation as well. And in a lot of ways, I'm wondering if like this could be one of those situations where like a boss keeps telling you like, oh, we're going to give you a raise or a promotion. And it's like, two weeks later and they're like oh uh we're gonna do this like later so i would make sure to stick up for yourself this week with the queen of wands energy i feel like all this stuff right here is saying you need to stick up for yourself with you this energy and you need to be bold and assertive queen of wands is an energy of being bold being assertive standing up for yourself sticking up for yourself getting what you deserve so i feel like you need to make sure to do that uh, and finally, you have the Seven of Pentacles here and the Ace of Cups. Definitely could be like a new love offer coming in for you here with this energy. So I like to see that. Yeah, you have the Wheel of Fortune as well. Definitely very lucky energy coming in for you. I do feel like it could be a fixed sign like Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, or Leo uh, that's coming in for you here. Um, so if you're looking for love, it could be one of those signs. It could be just someone who has a lot of that energy in their chart. I really feel like you're taking control as well. I feel in a lot of ways, you feel like you have control over your life. The wheel of fortune is always spinning. You know, the wheel is always spinning in a direction. It's like when we start to take control of our vibes, when we start taking control of our emotions, our feelings, when we focus on what we do want in life and not what we don't want, we pull our energy away from things that, you know, make us feel weak. That's when we take control of the wheel. So in a lot of ways, I feel like you're taking control of your destiny at this time, Sagittarius, and I feel like that's going to lead to Seven of Pentacles, growth, success, probably a harvest as well. Seven of Pentacles, it's like the fruit is not ripe. I, I do not like green apples, Sagittarius, and there are green apples in this tree up here. So I feel like for a lot of you, um, it, this is saying that there is not some sort of harvest or it's like you've been waiting for a harvest. I feel like the harvest is coming. Ace Cups, your emotions overflowing. There will be success and abundance coming in for you here um, with this energy. So I feel like there will be um, success and abundance coming in with that Ace of Cups. Uh, love it. Looks amazing, Sagittarius. So thank you, Sag. Uh, Scorpio, let's see what we have for you, Scorpio people. And uh, Scorpio... What is going on for you here, Scorpio people? Uh, Scorpio, you have the sun and you have the ten of swords here. What is this? Or did I say Scorpio? This is for Capricorn, so not even close. Uh, Capricorn, this is for you. I had Scorpio on my brain. So uh, Capricorn, you have the sun and the ten of swords here. I feel like this is like a battle going on inside of you, um, like needing to realize that you deserve to be happy, needing to get away from this ten of swords type energy. I feel like you need to make sure that people don't walk all over you with the ten of swords. Ten of swords can be like overkill, victimhood, uh, you know, something being dead done over with some sort of difficult ending but for you i really feel like this is someone or uh, multiple people even that could have taken advantage of your uh, kindness in the past or could be currently taking care advantage of your kindness or just could be taking care advantage of you in general i think you need to move towards the sun happiness and attention even the ten of swords i mean it's like a, it's like a pretty bad card right but Really, it is also a card of luck. It can represent future luck after you let something go. So I feel like you need to realize that the sun will come up in your life here, Capricorn. Yeah, you have the King of Wands as well. Uh, King of Wands, again, an energy of like really taking the lead in your life. You have the Emperor here as well. I do feel like taking the lead and put like, that could be a little bit of a challenge. You know what this is here, Capricorn? I know what this is. This right here, Eight of Pentacles, the Emperor. This is kind of like knowing that you need to get started on something, but like thinking too much. 
much. It's not, I wouldn't really call this analysis paralysis, but I would say that this could be one of those situations where it's like you're thinking about putting the work into um, a business, but then you're like, where do I start? And instead of getting, instead of just getting started, you're, you're like, where do I start? What do I need to do? It's like you're thinking too much. I feel like you just need to start with this energy. Uh, same thing in love as well. It's like maybe you're looking for love and you're like, you know, do I go on Tinder? Do I go on Adult Friend Finder? What, what do I do? What do I do to find love? I think like it's saying it doesn't matter. Details don't matter. I feel like you just need to get started on something. I feel like that will kind of lead to success in whatever you want. Uh, again, for others, I feel like you could be feeling definitely, I mean, it makes perfect sense to me with Saturn in your sign, Capricorn. You could be feeling authority figures are putting a lot of pressure on you. You could be experiencing a lot of pressure from authorities, from the government, from pretty much, you know, anything. It could be anything that is an authority. It could be the news, you know, as well. It's like, uh, I wouldn't really consider the news an authority on, you know, on my left, you know what. But what I would say is that a lot of people you know, kind of allow the news to control them. So I'd say do not allow anything to control you here. That's what you're learning with Saturn and Capricorn. And uh, finally, you have the Five of Pentacles here, Eight of Swords. Fear. It's like stuck energy is what I would say to you here. So in a lot of ways, I feel you could be feeling very stuck with the Five of Pentacles because it's like feeling left out in the cold. And the Eight of Swords is self imposed restriction, needing to let yourself free here net of swords yeah there is no good answer just needing to get started for you capricorn in a lot of ways uh your reading for your monthly reading again that will be out tomorrow was awesome uh is what i'd say to you but i do feel like there's a need to just get started so i feel like you need to like just kind of um get you need to charge forward with the net of swords i feel like you need to get moving with this energy yeah the fool like I said, I feel like your only answer is a leap of faith. So I feel like you need to kind of like take some sort of leap of faith with the fool card. I feel like you just need to get started on something like starting a business, especially if you're thinking about a lot. Like this situation to me here looks like, again, some sort of situation where you're like, do I start this business? And then instead of starting, you're like having all these thoughts. Uh, same thing in love as well. It's like if you, maybe you're like, oh, I want love, but I can't go out because of X, Y, and Z. And I feel like you just need to uh, take a leap of faith and get started with this card and just don't even worry about the details here, Capricorn. I feel like that'll lead to the most success. So love it. Uh, thank you, Capricorn. Uh, Aquarius, let's see what we have for you. Um, Aquarius people. Uh, what do we have for you, Aquarius people? Uh, Aquarius. Uh, Aquarius, you have the Strength card, Seven of Swords, Worries and Fears about something that's not going to happen, Aquarius. What is this? Ten of Pentacles. I feel like you're blocking yourself here, Aquarius. I wouldn't do that. I feel like some of you, it's like, I think like you need to be patient at this time. I think like you could be fearing something that's not going to happen is what I'm getting with this Seven of Swords. I feel like it's an illusion. I'm really focused on this peacock feather that she has right here, Aquarius. And I feel like this is an illusion that you're fearing with this uh, Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords can represent lying, cheating, stealing. But to me, it can also represent internal fears that don't exist. And the Strength card is saying you need to be patient for this right here, Ten of Pentacles. I feel like there is a Ten of Pentacles coming in for you. Ten of Pentacles to me is um, basically everything you want in life. To me, it is total fulfillment and happiness. But I feel like you need to not block yourself um, from this energy. I do get like a little bit of a cautious energy here, Knight of Pentacles with the Empress. Um, so I do feel for some of you, you could be feeling a little cautious or you could be being a little too cautious in a love situation or any situation for that matter. So I feel like for some of you, you need to keep pressing forward with this energy. I feel like there's a lot of abundance coming in for you here as well. Aquarius, Ten of Pentacles, Empress. I like that for sure. Yeah, Page of Cups, needing to make sure that something doesn't slip away. So this could be like a new opportunity. I feel like you need to, you know, especially like a work or business opportunity, I would get working on something here um, or I would start putting in the work in um, also in love, same thing. I feel like there is something that's very good for you, but maybe you feel like it's too good for you with the Empress. And I feel like you need to let go of those fears because I feel like, um, it's not, I feel like you need to make sure it doesn't slip away with this page of cups is what I'd say here. Uh, for others, I do feel like this could be new love coming in for you, by the way. And again, I feel like it would be like a Ten of Pentacles situation. I feel like it would be everything you want in your life, basically. I feel like it'll lead to total fulfillment. So I like to see that. 
And uh, finally, you have the Page of Pentacles here and the Eight of Cups here as well. Again, a lot of communication. I do feel like there could be, some of you could have like multiple options, multiple choices in love. So there could be a lot going on for you as far as love is concerned. You have the Empress, very attractive at this time. So that could be part of the problem. It's like maybe you're attracting multiple people into your life at once here. But you have the Eight of Swords, Ace of Swords, I should say. I feel like there's one person or there will be one person coming in for you who really balances, balances things out in your life. And I feel like that's what you need to move towards is balance with the Ace of Swords. There's normally six golden yods on the Ace of Swords and it represents perfect balance. So I feel like in a lot of ways, balance is your answer. If a person leads to balance in your life, then it's right for you. If they don't, then it's not. So I, I would just trust your inner guidance with this energy. I feel like there's a lot of happiness coming in here. Yeah, Ten of Wands, a lot of burdens. I feel like you could be like making burdens up in your head. Like you could be thinking that there are certain obstacles for you to be with a person when there aren't. You could be thinking about certain challenges to being with a person when there aren't. So I feel like you need to like let go of fears and these imagined burdens in your life is what I'd say to you. But uh, that's it. Thank you, Aquarius. Really appreciate it. Uh, Pisces, let's see what we have for you, Pisces people. Uh, Pisces, Pisces. Uh, Pisces, you have the Ten of Cups, Fortune After Difficulty, and the Eight of Wands, Quick Success coming in for you. Ace of Wands here. It's like a new beginning coming in for you here. I feel like you're on a break uh, in life just in general at this time, Pisces, but I feel like there could be a positive new beginning coming in. I feel like you're waiting for news or there is going to be news uh, coming in for you here, Pisces, with this energy. I feel like this news will lead to a new beginning. Ace of Wands. So I do feel like for some of you, uh, there could be a new beginning coming in, especially in love. It could be someone that is, um, this could also be communication. What I'm trying to say is I feel like this could be communication with authority figures as well. You have the King of Swords here. So for some of you, this could be like communication with a boss or mentor, maybe you've been waiting for a job. Uh, I feel like that's where their, com this communication could be coming in for you. But there's a lot of happiness coming in. And Eight of Wands, you can have it. Eight of Wands is also an energy of needing to uh, manifest your desires, Pisces. So I feel like you need to uh, use your powers of manifestation uh, to manifest what you want in your life. Uh, next, you have the Three of Swords and the Ace of Wands. Uh, this could be like a new beginning after a separation. I do feel like some of you could be hoping for a new beginning. Uh, it could be with the same person from the past here. It could be um, with someone new as well, is what I'd say here. Let's see. King of Pentacles. I feel like you just want someone who's stable, Pisces. I feel like you just want someone who puts in as much work as you do with this King of Pentacles. Uh, it could be an earth sign coming in for some of you, but I feel like you, this is what you want. Is King of Pentacles is you know, stability it is long-term relationship, all that other good stuff here. So I feel like you're moving away from that three of swords type energy. For others, I do feel like there could have been, there could be just a new beginning coming in for you just in your life in general after some sort of separation. So I do like to see that. Uh, and finally, you have the four of swords, king of swords, definitely healing from something here. Tower, tower moment. So I feel like you either had a tower moment or you are healing from some sort of tower moment here. Pisces, four cups, still sadness though. Three, three of swords is like despair, sadness, crying. So I feel like for some of you, you could be um, in that situation or you could be feeling sad. Four cups, like not getting what you want from something here. Hangman, Pisces, putting yourself in hangman mode. Queen of Pentacles, pick the new path. Queen of Pentacles says you're at a crossroads. You have to make a choice. Three of Swords, right? So you have to make a choice here, Pisces. Uh, pick the knight, of, knight. Pick the knight in shining armor in love. If you're making a choice in love, Nine of Cups is your dream life, Pisces. I say this to you every single reading. I mean, like, look at these cards right here. Ace of Wands. Then we have this Eight of Wands. The Ten of Cups. This is like your dream life. You can have this, but I think you need to choose it with the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is, he is normally looking into that cup. He is dreaming about a dream life. He is dreaming about whatever it is that he wants in his life. And I feel like you need to realize that you can have whatever you want. I say this to you every single night, Pisces. And I'm probably going to keep saying it every single night because that's what the astrology is for you. You can manifest whatever you want. It doesn't matter what it is, but I feel like you just have to do it. You actually have to take the steps to uh, create your own reality. And this could be through facing fears, um, could be through starting a business, could be through getting a new job, going back to school. It could be dating someone, could be anything. But I feel like you need to do it. You can have this if you want it, Pisces. But there you go. Uh, thank you, Pisces. Thank you, everybody, for being here, by the way. Really appreciate it. 
Uh, to the person who asked what deck this is, by the way, this is the uh, Wheel of the Year Tarot. Sorry, I don't remember what your name is, but I saw it pop up. Uh, it's just this deck right here. Uh, I think this is my new favorite deck, but I'm not, I don't actually know. Because uh, I have about 900 copies of this deck right here, and uh, this is my actual favorite deck. But uh, anyway, let's do a pick a card. We're going to do cards one, two, and three. And then we're also going to do a collective. A uh, big thank you to Nanya for the collective. But let's do a pick a card first. So we are going to do um, cards one, two, and three here, people. And uh, one, two, and three. Let's see here. Uh, if you pick card number one, you have the nine of pentacles here and the four ones. This is actually a pretty good pick a card tonight. These are very good cards for everybody. Really good. So I like this. It doesn't matter what number you pick tonight. It's good. So uh, card number one definitely could be abundance coming in for some of you. Some of you could be getting into a commitment as well. So if you're looking for love, uh, this could be a commitment coming in for you. Someone who makes you very happy, obviously, because there's a celebration going on on this card. So some of you could be going from single to in a relationship. If you pick card number two, you have the seven of pentacles, ace of pentacles waiting. Some of you could be waiting for a job offer. I feel like there could be a job offer uh, coming in for you soon. For others, it could just be any other type of offer that you're waiting for, like a love offer. But I feel like this could be something that also makes you happy. Ace of Pentacles to me is path to marriage. So if you're looking for love, could be someone that you get married to in the future. And uh, finally, if you pick card number three, you have Ace Wands and the Empress. Uh, definitely a lot of abundance coming in here for you, card number three. So there could be like a new beginning coming in for you, card number three, and it could lead to a lot of abundance. This could be like some sort of creative project that you're working on that also leads to abundance. And if not, this is probably love. Uh, if you're not trying to get pregnant, be careful uh, with these two cards right here. So there you go. But love it. Uh, thank you, everybody, again for being here tonight. What a night. Really appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to answer questions now. And uh, if you have any questions about the Super Chats, make sure to um, look at the Super Chat rules. They get posted about 900 times a night. Um, so that's that. Um, so there you go. Uh, is Carol Lynn still here? I have no idea. But Carol Lynn... Um, I only answer $4.99 and up Super Chats, but thank you for the donation. Uh, if you have a question, uh, pop it in down below uh, about that, and I can answer it. Uh, Dante Walker, thank you for the Super Chat. Uh, you say here, uh, what should I know about the new love coming in for me? Page of Wands, a lot of fun. Could be a fire sign is what I'd say to you. Four Swords, I feel like you're kind of like on a break from love, so I'd take your time as well. But I feel like it's someone who wants to have fun. Someone very spontaneous as well is what's popping into me. And I feel like they just like they like doing random stuff. So I would keep it spontaneous is what I would say to you. Uh, Michelle Miller, thank you for the super chat. Does Bob find me attractive and des and desirable? Heck, does anyone? Uh, I would say yes. Ace, uh, I feel like people find you attractive, uh, just in general. Michelle, I would say I feel like this person finds you attractive. I feel like people in general find you attractive with this energy, is what I'd say there. So I love it. Um, oh, I forgot to do the collective, right? So uh, let's do a collective as well before I forget. So uh, a big, big, huge thank you to Nanya. For the collective so let's do a collective before I get too carried away here and let's see uh, what is going on for the collective uh, all right, uh, for everyone here in the collective, we have the magician and the six of cups. I think you can have whatever you want, everyone here in the collective. For some of you, you could be trying to manifest past love back into your life here, and I feel like you can have it. You could be trying to manifest just a soulmate with the six of cups. I don't really consider six of cups to be past love. Um, it could be, but to me, it really says that you could be uh, you know, kind of like moving on to uh, true love or just focusing on a soulmate in general, which I think is the best way to do it anyway. But I think you could be manifesting love here, collective. Uh, next, we have the two of pentacles and the four of cups. Again, try to manifest options in your life. So I feel like everyone here in the collective is uh, trying to manifest options in their lives here. It might not be manifesting the best options, but I feel like you are kind of like getting close to uh, manifesting your desires here, collective. And that's what I feel like you could be focused on. Two Pentacles is, uh, be is very being very busy as well. So I feel like for a lot of you here in the collective could be a lot of busyness going on for you. Or you could be working very hard uh, towards this right here. Ten of Pentacles, total success, abundance, good luck, good things coming in for you here. 
Uh, for others, this could be True Love. Knight of Cups is your knight in shining armor coming in for you here. And so this could be someone who sweeps you off your feet. Ten of Pentacles is like everything you'll want in love. So I feel like for a lot of you, this could be uh, everything you'll want in love coming in for you. If you're looking for love, someone very that leads to a lot of fulfillment. Uh, for others, it could be Dream Life. Like I said, a lot of Dream Life stuff coming up because of Neptune and Pisces. I keep telling people if there's ever a time where we could manifest you know, pretty much whatever we want. If you want to live in a damn castle, you, you could do it right now so you know practice manifestation at this time love it thank you nanya uh let's see here virgin love eight thank you for the super chat what is my king of cups feeling about me eight of cups i feel like they feel left out in this situation eight of cups two wants wanting to leave a comfort zone though i feel like they feel sad with that eight of cups feeling like they're walking away i don't think that means that they necessarily want to i just feel like that's how they feel uh, Heather or Summer Scales, thank you for the super chat. Will I hear any communication from the guy I love and when? Death card, this is like an ending, the fool. I feel like you would have to reach out with that fool card, Heather, is what I'd say to you. So I feel like if you were to reach out to them, they would communicate, but I just don't think they are going to with that death card. Uh, Lucille, thank you for the super chat. You say, should I give N, who I am writing, with a chance? Is he good for me? Nine of Wands. I think this is you. A little closed off. Three cups. I would say yes. Three cups of celebration. So I would say yes. I think you could give them a chance, Lucille. Uh, Breezy, thank you for the super chat. What actions will my Aquarius make towards me? Two of cups, love, for sure. Yeah, five of swords. I feel like they're a little independent right now. But ace of wands, I feel like they want this. <laughs> so, yeah. I feel like they're going to make a move. Uh, they are going to shoot their shot, for sure. Uh, Lisa, thank you for the super chat. What do my guides want me to truly know about Nick? I feel like I'm sa I sabotage the relationship, and I know it's old triggers from old relationships. Seven of Pentacles. I feel like you need to be patient. Ace of Cups. I feel like you could make a love offer here, or there will be a love offer made. So I, I would say don't sabotage it, is what I'd say with that. Ace of Cups. Seven of Pentacles just says be patient. Uh, Amanda Cruz, thank you for the super chat. Will my relationship last? The world. I would say yes. King Wands. I feel like there's a lot of attraction here. So I would say yes. I feel like it'll last for sure. Uh, Black Jemmy, hello. Uh, thank you for the super chat. You say, confused about the Sag. We argue too much. Is there still a chance to go back to the Capricorn? Uh, I think he called me and I missed it. And two of Swords, I think you have a choice. Five of Cups, it's like regrets here in this situation. I don't know. I almost feel like this is like new love. You know, two of Cups, uh, Lovers to me represents like moving on to someone new. So I'm almost wondering if you're just going to move on to someone new. I don't know. We could be clearing up like a lot of karmic BS right now uh, with the astrology. And that doesn't mean you can't go back to someone. I'm just saying we could be doing like a lot of cleansing with the person or cleaning up some of that mess and, you know, moving on from it or going back as long as we uh, fix the problem. Uh, JC, hello. Thank you for Super Chat. Waiting on news. I know the universe doesn't wear a watch. Um, CSS as no, no, we ask if good news is coming. I, oh, I get what you're saying. You're saying um, in just my financial future. You have uh, Empress, a lot of abundance coming in for you here. Ace of Swords, a victory. I would say yes. I feel like there's some sort of victory or success coming in for you here, um, JC. So yes, I like it. And I feel like there could be, uh, look at financial abundance as well. Nine of Pentacles. So uh, that looks good. Um, Jessica, thank you for the super chat. You say here, will I get a job and start working this month? Three of Swords. Uh, this would say no, but Five of Wands, a lot of competition. Page of Pentacles. I feel like there's something coming in for you soon. I'm just not so sure that it's this month, Jessica, is what I'd say to you. To me, the cards can't really control that because, um, you know, the reason the cards can't control it is because if you were to apply to a million jobs, you would definitely get one, right? So that's why I think it's BS that, um, you know, to me, I don't think tarot can say yes or no truly on a question like this because it's dependent on how much work you put into the situation. The cards can't make it happen for you. Um, I feel like it's a, there's a lot of competition. So I feel like it's, I'm not going to lie. I think like it's like there are challenges because of the amount of people who are also looking for a job. But I do feel like you could find something if you really put in the work. Uh, Tamara, thank you for the super chat. Uh, I'm wondering if my finances are going to get be better. Yeah, I would actually say yes to you, Tamara. Look at this. Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is being able to take care of yourself, Tamara, a little bit better. And the Nine of Swords is like quick, a quick change is what I'd say to you. So I would actually say yes. I feel like things will improve here in this situation, Tamara. Uh, Gab Gold, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Uh, what can you tell me about the reconciliation I had today with the Taurus? Well, I dropped a card here, so let me look and see what it is 
and uh, it is a chariot. So Gab Gold, I feel like this looks good, the moon. I feel like there's still some unknowns. I feel like there's still some things that are uncertain about this situation, but 10 of cups, fortune after difficulty, I feel like this is good. So I would go for it. I feel like things are gonna be very happy for you in this situation. Uh, Raquel, thank you for the super chat. You say here, you said yesterday that my person is waiting for something. What would it be? I have reached out and I'm wondering if anything will come from that. Five of Pentacles, feeling left out in the cold at this time. Three of Pentacles, I feel like they want to see that you want to work on a team at this in this situation. King of Cups, man, I feel like they're stubborn. Like, I feel like they are, I feel like they are like very, like they can shut off very, very quickly, Raquel, is what I feel. Yeah, I feel like you're gonna have to be patient in this situation, is what I'd say to you. I do feel like they will respond, but I feel like you're gonna have to be patient in this situation, is what I'd say to you. Yeah, strength, two cards of patience, strength and the temperance. I feel like they wanna see that there's gonna be equal give and take. Uh, cookies and cream, thank you for the super chat. Should I take Sean back or is he any third party? Six of swords here, son. I, I think you know that you should move on here. Six of swords right? Six of Swords, Choppy Waters. Not really a third party, but I feel like you know you should move on. I'm not saying that you are going to move on, right? We all we all have to make these mistakes, right? <laughs> so you might go back, but what I would say here is that I feel like you know that you should probably move on to something better with the sun. So I feel like there's just something better. Uh, Erica, thank you for the super chat. You say, will I meet anyone in the near future looking for love? Well, Seven of Swords, let go of your fears. Nine of Swords, get out of your head. And the hangman, I would say yes. I think you're like waiting, 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 waiting here, Erica. Ace of Pentacles, yes. Ace of Pentacles is the love offer. Ace of Pentacles really says you have to start the journey. Ace of Pentacles, there's a path that runs right here. And the Ace of Pentacles says you have to get moving on this journey to have love. You have to do something. Uh, so I'd get out there, put yourself out there, but definitely love. Uh, Lolita Asylum, thank you for the super chat. Uh, I've had a lot of dreams about my son's father deceiving me that ended up being true. Um, had he... Um, been trying to move on from him so he stops lying and hurt me. Uh, could you sh shed light on the situation? Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles to me, Lolita, is like inner work as well in a situation like this. So I feel like you could be doing a lot of inner work or you could be healing yourself, making yourself stronger, you know, uh, trying to work on yourself, trying to become more um, independent or whatever here. Seven of Wands, learning how to defend yourself. Seven of Wands is about boundaries as well. So I feel like maybe you are working on setting up boundaries with him. This could even be in the, you know, on the spiritual side of things as well like while you sleep as crazy as that sounds yeah knight of pentacles i feel like slowly but surely you're enforcing boundaries here with that seven of wands and i feel like that's going to lead to like success growth you know all sorts of things in this situation i actually like this look six of wands good news success and progress so i feel like you're actually making a lot more progress than you realize in this situation i like that a lot seven of wands to the six of wands much better than going the other way around you know so i feel like there's a lot of success here but mostly having to do with like building up boundaries uh, healing waters thank you for the super chat you say here cards for the weekend uh, thank you by the way and you have the hermit and the, probably like a nice weekend at home healing yourself and um <laughs> doing all that other stuff right so might be a good weekend to focus on yourself heal uh meditate you know anything nice for yourself basically with that star card uh db thank you for the super chat db if you have a question let me know Sophia, thank you for the super chat. Will I be recognized for my work at my job and get a promotion? Ten of Wands, a lot of work here. Six of Pentacles, probably not as much as you want. I hate to say it with the Six of Pentacles. I just don't like the Six of Pentacles because to me, it's like not enough. So I'd say probably not enough as much as you deserve, right? Uh, uh, Aileen, Aileen, if you are here, let me know. Thank you for the super chat and I will be happy to answer your question, by the way. Um... Uh, let's see, uh, Anu, uh, Anu Rada, if you are here, let me know who you are and pop your question down below. Irini, um, also, Irini, I know who you are, so Irini, just pop your question in down below. Candice Clark, thank you for the super chat. Pop your question in down below, and Mildred as well. If you have a question, uh, I hope the mods can keep track of that because I can't. <laughs> well, I'll try my best. Uh, Mildred, if you have a question, uh, pop that down below. And uh, also Bonnie, if you are here, Bonnie, I know who you are as well. So Bonnie, just pop your question down below. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, January Jones, thank you for the super chat. You say Capricorn come back like you said he would. Uh, will he will he be romantic and just continue to work on music? Nine of Cups here. I feel like both. Can I say both? I feel like both because Nine of Cups is everything. Nine of Cups is like total fulfillment is what I would say to you here. Four Wands, marriage. I would say both. I feel like both is what I'd say. <laughs> 
Uh, Crescent Fresh, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. You say here, I have a new interest and we will meet soon. Will it be worthwhile? Queen of Pentacles here, I would say yes. I, Page of Swords is like exploring the situation, Crescent. So I would say yes. I think it'll be worth it for sure. Uh, Stefan, or uh, not, nope, 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 not Stefan. Steph Brown, hold on one second. Steph, I lost your question. I just have to find it. It'll take me just a question. Uh, oh, Mimi, thank you so much for the donation. I really appreciate it. I don't, I, how did I not know? Uh, thank you, Mimi. Um, uh, let's see here. Uh, so I was on Crescent. Uh, Steph, thank you for the super chat. Will he reach out this month before the end of the year? Uh, four pentacles holding on to this. Mm, I would say no, if I'm being honest. This is very stubborn energy. So I feel like very stubborn at this time. Uh, AJ, thank you for the super chat. Anything that comes to you. You have the tower. I feel like you're healing from a tower moment. Three wants. I feel like you're waiting for the perfect moment, AJ, to move on from something. And I feel like you need to like take a leap of faith with this three wands. Yeah, I think it's time to set yourself free from a stuck situation. Eight of Swords is like everything, uh, you know, it's like needing to let go of something, basically. So I feel like you need to um, set yourself free, remove yourself from prison. Uh, Natalie, thank you for the super chat. Do you say here, do you see my Gemini counterpart making an attempt to communicate, reconcile, commit to me? Mm, I would actually say yes. So uh, I feel like you move, feel like you moved on from this or you feel like you're starting to move on from this. Um, I would actually say yes with this energy, even with that 10 of swords. So uh, yes. Uh, Irini, hello. Um, thank you so much. You say, I, hope, I am doing well. Some cards for the rest of October. What's coming in for me? Uh, King of Pentacles, Judgment card. This is like, uh, this could be love coming in for you, but I also feel like this could be um, financial stability or you could be working towards financial stability here, Irini. So I feel like there could be a lot like new financial stability that you're developing uh, with this energy. So I like that. Could also be like a permanent job offer coming in for you. Uh, Bonnie, thank you for the super chat. You say here, I'm moving tomorrow, cards for the week. Uh, congratulations. And you have the Justice card and the Wheel of Fortune. Um, a lot of success coming in for you. I think there's some sort of turnaround coming in for you. Wheel of Fortune is like a lot of success and luck coming in for you. So I think there's a lot of success and luck, some sort of turnaround here. Definitely attracting things that you desire into your life as well. Love it. Uh, Red Sands, if you are here, uh, pop your question in down below. I'll be happy to answer it. Alyssa Riddle, thank you for the super chat. Career and life partner. Uh, seven of Cups for career. I think you need to focus on what you really want. I think you're like simplifying your career. You could be getting like a new position or opportunity that could be a lot easier for you. And for a life partner, you have Page of Cups, new love coming in for you. I feel like it's a new person coming in for you, Alyssa, probably. Or, um, yeah, for someone who finds you very attractive. You, I, feel, I feel like you find them very attractive as well. I feel like this, you will know this person soon if you don't already know them with the Page of Cups, by the way. Uh, Melanie, thank you for the super chat. There is a Virgo and a Libra that I'm interested in. Is either a potential relationship match or should I keep moving on? Devil, Queen of Swords here. Mm, I feel like you give them both a chance. I, I like weird that the devil shows up here, but I feel like this high priestess is saying you need to trust your intuition. I feel like you are learning or needing to learn how to trust your intuition. It's like the universe isn't even answering the question. Sometimes I think that happens. Like the universe is like, nope, uh, because it's like it's trying to teach you a lesson, like to trust your intuition on people. But I would just give them both a chance. I would go on a date and see who feels better and trust that is what I'd say to you. Uh, Rachel V, thank you for the super chat. I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Wondering if E will tell me how he feels about me. Um, judgment. Yes, I feel like this. Yes, is what I would say to you here. Five of Cups. I think there are regrets here. Seven of Pentacles. I figured I have to be patient, but I would say yes. Uh, Claudia, thank you for the super chat. You say love and career forecast for October. Did I misread my crush's signals? Eight of Swords. I think you need to set yourself free here. Nine of Cups. There's like some sort of wish coming in for you here, Claudia. So I think you need to set yourself free with the um, Eight of Swords. It's called a self-imposed restriction. Nine of Cups is some sort of wish coming in for you. Strength, patience. Need to be patient at this time. I don't think you misread their signals. Queen of Swords. I think they're just like a little closed off for some reason. But I feel like they're about to open up. Uh, Janet D, thank you for the super chat. Will Bruce stop this in and out with us? He makes me feel so loved when we're together and so alone. Ace of Swords, kind of. I think, yeah, three of Pentacles working on the team. I would say yes is what I would say to you, so yes. Uh, Aqua One, thank you for the super chat. Will I get this job I applied for in Maryland? Lovers, perfect match. Justice here. Eight of Pentacles, I would say yes. I feel like you will get this job. This is like a lot of success here and a perfect match, so yes. 
Uh, Martinez, hello. Uh, thank you for the super chat. Will I be bringing my husband home this month? It's been 10 years. King of Pentacles here. I'd say maybe not this month, but I, I do feel like soon, Martinez. Eight of Cups. Yeah, just not this month, but I do feel like soon is what I'd say to you. Two wands in the near future. Uh, Christy B, thank you for the super chat. Cards for me. You have the Ace of Wands, King of Swords here. Some sort of new opportunity, I feel, for you. Nine of Pentacles. This could be like new love. I think you're going to have to open up to it with that Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles, Christy, is a little bit closed off. So I would open up with this energy, but that looks pretty good. Uh, so that's nice. Uh, MK, thank you for the super chat. You say here, how does Jay currently feel about me? I love Page of Cups, like wanting to make a love offer. The star, it's like they're waiting. Um, I like the star, but I also feel like they're waiting here, MK. But I do feel like there could be love here. Uh, Martinez again says, a quick collective for the pond. So a big thank you. We're going to do a call quick collective for the pond a big thank you to martinez uh, for everyone here in the collective we have the king of wands and the queen of pentacles uh, it could be love coming in for everyone this could be i feel like this is an option to love because we have the knight of cups here as well so for some of you yeah definitely a choice and the chariot as well queen of pentacles to me represents being at a crossroads so if you're in the collective i feel like you could be uh kind of like in the crossroads trying to make a decision about what you want in your life and i feel like you need to trust your intuition here with this energy but i also feel like you need to move towards wherever you think you can pour your heart and soul into something with the king of wands uh next we have the seven of wands and the chariot yeah seven of wands is kind of like conviction it's like this to me says once you know that you know that you can have something, you will have it. The Seven of Wands card of conviction. The Chariot is a card of success and victory, but with the Seven of Wands. So this is basically saying once you know that you know that you can have something, once you truly believe it, it could be love, could be business, could be whatever, uh, that's when you will have it with this energy. And uh, finally, we have the Knight of Swords, Knight of Cups. Definitely a Knight in Shining Armor. I feel like some of you are going to be charging towards a Knight in sh Shining Armor, or someone sees you this way, and they're going to be charging towards you. So definitely love here um somebody somebody's doing the charging i'm not sure who but one person in the situation definitely love love it uh uh anu rada thank you for the super chat you say someone who hurt me very deeply and didn't care crossing my path randomly bumped into to, uh to me today as well where's this going would this person ever realize and have regrets i'd say probably not um emperor here net of pentacles i feel like it will take them too long uh, to realize that is what i would say to you uh, so that's that. Um, so, uh, escape the ordinary. Thank you for the super chat. You say, when will I meet my romantic life partner? Ten of swords. Once you let go of the past here, magician, uh, magician is card of manifestation. It says you need to use, um, your powers of manifestation to manifest someone in your life. So, but I would let go of the past. Uh, Tina Christensen, thank you for the super chat. Will my wish of 22 years? I would say yes. The fool, the fool to me says there needs to be a little bit more action, basically. So the fool to me says there needs to be some sort of leap, t leap of faith taken to make sure that this wish comes true. But I would say yes, for the most part. Six of wands, success, a wish, and good news. Yes. Uh, JJ, thank you for the super chat. Can I get a love reading? My love life is on the decline. Uh, I hear you. You have the five wands, conflict or competition, the wheel of fortune, turnaround, a lot of luck coming in for you here. So I do feel like there is a lot of luck for you here. Uh, JJ, three swords. I think you need to let go of the heartbreak. I think that'll bring love into your life. Uh, Stefan, thank you for the super chat. What's the meaning of my life? The, the, the meaning of our life is to create our own reality. Um, so that's what I'd say there. There are a lot of spiritual teachers and everything out there that tell you, oh, you have to do this, that, or the other thing. It's all BS. What you have to do, your only goal in life is to focus on joy, blessings, good things that you can create. Once you do that for enough for yourself, then you can start doing it for other people. But actually by doing it for yourself, you're doing it for other people. So that's the secret, right? That's a little lie. Um, it's not a lie. It's uh, other people say that we shouldn't be doing things for ourselves, which would be BS. So I feel like you need to create your own reality. By doing that, you're showing other people it's possible. That's our only purpose on life, in life. Uh, it's like we're in a big sandbox, people. Create whatever you want. Uh, Natalia, Natalia, thank you for the super chat. You say, in the last three days, I felt a lot of anxiety and sleepless nights, all because I feel my ex's energy all over my in my environment. Why? Is he going through something? Will he reach out? Yeah, I feel like he'll probably reach out. Ace of Pentacles is what I'd say here. Page wants. I feel like he just wants to reach out. I feel like that is what's going on here, is that he just wants to reach out. So um, I feel like that's why you can feel him with this energy. So that, that's what I would say to you. 
Uh, MK, thank you for the super chat. The feeling that I get spiritually, I'm getting spiritually strong. Uh, is it just my feelings or are things changing? I feel like things are changing. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is your emotions overflowing. It's like being overflowing with energy. So I'd say yes, for sure. Uh, Blue Moon, thank you for the super chat. Do you, does Sean and I have a future together? Page of Pentacles, it's like a new beginning. I would say yes. Look, Ace of, uh, Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is everything you want in life. So yes. Uh, Jay, thank you for the super chat. Can you pull cards from my love life? Uh, sky's the limit. Hangman, it could be a Pisces, Jay, coming in for you. Two Pisces cards. Uh, could also just be delays and needing to take action. Yeah, Queen of Wands, very attractive at this time. So I'd get out there and love. Uh, and anything I should look out for next week, Six of Cups, someone from the past. I'd say if you don't want to hear from someone from the past, block whoever that person is <laughs> with the Six of Cups. Uh, Syria Designs, thank you for the super chat. Should I engage a realtor broker to sell business or do it myself? Mm, uh, I feel like it would be too much work. I would get someone to help you here with this energy. Uh, there's too much good energy for experts, people. I keep talking about this, right? All the energy in Capricorn, right? Plain and simple. That's like experts. It basically says if you're doing anything like this, get an expert to do it. It'll just be 10 times easier, 10 times faster, and 10 times, 10 times, 10 times. So I would just have someone else do it. Uh, Shelby, thank you for the super chat. You say, I'm doing well. Uh, can I get cards for next week in regards to important decision that I will have to make? Two of cups. Making an important decision. Death card. Uh, this is like some sort of ending or moving on situation. Four of cups. It's like you're not sure what to do, Shelby. The world. I feel like you need to make the harder choice, the harder decision, whichever decision is more work with the world card. The world says move towards your true goal. Like in whatever this decision is, it's like one decision might be harder work or it might be more work or whatever, but it's like your true goal like what you actually want and the world says pick that one pick that choice whatever the, it, even if it's harder even if it's more work you'll be able to handle it with the world uh jessica thank you for the super chat does john still miss me uh, nine of swords yeah worries probably here in the hermit yeah but it's like yes but they're not opening up is what i'd say here uh, Nicole N, thank you for the super chat. Just spoke to Leo, and he seems angry and asked for time apart. Will he reach out later, or will I have to? Uh, haven't seen him in two months. Uh, I would just give this time, is what I'd say here. Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is like in and out energy, is what I'd say. Yeah, I feel like you need to give this time, is what I'd say to you. Sandra S, thank you for the super chat. Anything coming my way this month? Uh, thank you. And you have the Two of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups. This is like a change of direction. There could be like love coming in for you here with this energy. Um, there could be, this could also be just like a change in direction in your life with the Queen of Cups. Page of Swords, I think you need to be more curious, Sandra. Page of Swords is like an energy of curiosity, looking into things. And that's where success comes in with the Page of Swords, like when we look into stuff that we want. Uh, Betsy Vega, thank you for the super chat. I revealed something about my person. To, uh, I revealed something about myself to my person I'm seeing. Does he still take me seriously and will continue to pursue me? Four of Pentacles, Six of Swords here, moving on to Commerce Shores, Seven of Cups. I would say yes. I think they, were, they will continue to pursue you here, even with this energy. Uh, Geraldine, thank you so much for the donation. You are too kind. Geraldine, if you have a question, let me know. I'll be happy to answer it. Uh, Uptown QT, hello. You say yesterday you pulled two. Thank you for the super chat, by the way. You say yesterday you pulled two cards and said that my uh, Instacart account will be reactivated. Will this, uh, when will this occur and will they call or email me? Three cups. There will be a celebration here. Hairfint. Uh, I feel like they will probably contact you. It's like some sort of decision. Six of Pentacles. I don't know. You might have to reach out to them. I would read. I would follow up with them uh, a couple of times is what I'd say to you. Uh, Addy Wright. Thank you for the super chat. What are my car cancer's energies towards me? The Tower Empress. They're still attracted to you, but I'm wondering if there's a Tower moment, Addy. Eight of Wands. I feel like they want to communicate. I feel like they want quick success with you with this energy is what I'd say to you. Uh, Sarmilla, thank you for the super chat. Is it likely that he'll relocate to London from San Francisco? Will he want a relationship with me? I would actually say yes. Look, Ten of Cups, Nine of Wands. I feel like it's a lot of work, but I would say yes to you. Ten of Cups, fortune after difficulty and wanting a family. So, yes. Uh, Mackenzie, thank you for the super chat. Uh, asking about an Aries I have a connection with. I'm a Cap, and I'm wondering uh, if they will contact me and if they will move forward of any sort of relationship with me. Kind of stressing out. Two Swords, the decision has not been made yet. Four Wands, I feel like they want to marry you, or they will in the near future. What's the blockage here? Uh, Seven of Swords, fears. Uh, they could have a lot of fears, or maybe they were tricked in the past, I feel. And I feel like that could be preventing them from moving forward in this situation. The Sun, I don't know. I, I feel like you need to let go of your fears. I feel like, like any fears will push this way. So if you really want this, I would just stay open. I feel like there's a lot of happiness coming in for you, but I feel like either they have a lot of fears or worries in this situation. 
Uh, Pamela Taylor, thank you for the super chat. Writing or art? Writing, uh, art, mm, both. <laughs> Can you do both? Can you write on a piece of art? Why not, right? So uh, I would say both. Can I say both? I hope so. Uh, Barry Kitchens, thank you for the super chat. Is my relationship going in a positive direction? Devil, five of pentacles, I'd say no. Uh, I would try, I would just, like, to me, tarot's vice. So again, this just says make sure it doesn't turn toxic. Uh, Barry Kitchens, hold on one second. Let me um, just get a new deck going here. And uh, we will see what else wants to come up for uh, you here. Uh, someone says, are you reading the comments? Uh, no, I am not reading the comments. Uh, you say here, uh, Ten of Wands. I feel like there's a lot of burdens in this berry kitchen. So Ace of Wands. Yeah, I feel like this can be fixed. I feel like it just needs to make, you just need to make sure it doesn't turn toxic. Uh, Miranda, thank you for the super chat. You say here, uh, to move or not to move? That is a question. I feel like you're going to move. Eight of Wands, plain and simple. Eight of Wands says you will be moving probably. Uh, Blue Moon Tarot, thank you for the super chat. Does my Virgo want a relationship with me or just remain friends? Uh, uh, Ten of Cups, Fortune After Difficulty, Love. So, yeah, I feel like they definitely want, like, a family happiness with you. Uh, Jupiter 1111, hello. Thank you for the super chat. Free flow, please. You got it. You have the King of Wands here. You also have the Two of Swords. You need to make a decision about some sort of victory that you could have. Definitely a choice with the Chariot, for sure. Two of Pentacles, another. All these choice cards. I feel like you need to pick the new path. Pick the new choice. Something that requires work with the Two of Pentacles I'm getting. Two of Pentacles to me is hard work. So I think like there's something that could require some work. It could be love. It could be like a King of Wands, like a fire sign. Or it could be someone who's very entrepreneur. entrepreneur or hardworking or something like that and it could require a lot of work but i feel like it'll lead to happiness eight of pentacles a lot of work so if or you could just be very focused on work like starting a business or something like that and i feel like there will be a lot of success for you in doing that so uh yeah i feel like there's like a lot of success in work is what i would say to you so love it uh aquarius 1111 i answered you like a while ago <laughs> a long while ago uh emma baker thank you for the super chat you say here are current feelings towards me please two of cups love in love with you is what i would say to you so i feel like they are in love with you for sure two of cups soulmates really good uh sarmilla thank you for the super chat you say here what can i expect from him will there be some uh temporary or something attached to longevity marriage Sarmilla, the Hierophant, marriage. You had a marriage card on the other one as well. So I feel like there will be marriage here. Uh, Letty, hello, Letitia. Thank you so much for the super chat. You say, my question is, uh, Eric the Virgo, will I see him today or will there be communication? Uh, Six of Swords, not today, uh, soon. Nine of Wands, I feel like there will be communication soon. So I feel like you will hear from them soon is what I would say to you. Uh, Sally McConnell, thank you for the super chat. Will my ex break up with his girlfriend soon? Ace of Swords here. Uh, three of Wands. Mm, I would say no if I'm being honest with you here, Sally. So I'd say no. I feel, I feel like you're waiting, or there will be a lot of waiting here. Uh, Jesse, thank you for the super chat. What do the cards say for me in love? You have the, uh, Five of Cups. Feeling set at this time is what I'd say to you. And the Ten of Pentacles. I think like there's true love coming in for you here, um, Jesse. So I think like there is true love coming in for you. And I feel like you need to get out of your head with this uh, Five of Cups. Ten of Pentacles is everything you want. Nine of Pentacles could be like an earth sign. They might be a little slow moving towards you. You might work with this person or maybe in the future. But I think like there's love coming in. Carolyn, thank you for the super chat. What does money look like for me? You have the Queen of Cups, some sort of change, nurturing energy, Nine of Swords. Get out of your head. I think you need to let go of the worries about finances. Empress, a lot of abundance coming in for you. And uh, Carolyn, again, thank you for the super chat. A uh, few cards for the weekend. Do you have the Devil and the High Priestess? Uh, I feel like you need to trust your intuition here, especially in love with this energy and the Queen of Wands as well. It's like you're very attractive at this time, Carolyn. So if you're looking for love, I would get out there with this energy for sure. Uh, Angie, hello. Thank you for the super chat. Brian broke it off with me last night. Why and when will we be back together? Please don't tell me to be patient. <laughs> be patient. J just kidding. You have the six of cups. I would say yes. I think you could get back together. Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. I don't consider the... Um, you know, I don't consider the Six of Cups to be someone coming back from the past, Angie, but um, I do consider the Wheel of Fortune. So I would say yes, I think they'll come back probably because they miss you with that Six of Cups. Yeah, Queen of Swords. I feel like you'll have to be open if you really want them back, though. Uh, and I would say soon. 
Uh, Araceli, thank you for the super chat. Uh, love reading, please. You have the Seven of Pentacles. I think you need to be patient for love here and the Queen of Pentacles. There's like new love coming in for you here. So I think you need to be patient in with these energies. And Ace of Cups, definitely love. I, not that patient, like soon. Uh, is what I say to you. This year, I feel, there will be love coming in for you. Someone who really actually does love you. Here, Five of Swords. It's like someone who wants to, um, you know, kind of like put in the work, is what I'd say here with the Five of Swords. Uh, Stephanie, thank you for the super chat. Is there a new job coming for me in the near future? And thank you. And Death, yes, definitely. Definitely some sort of ending, starting something new. The Fool, some sort of new beginning. So, um, yes, no doubt about it, is what I'd say to you. Definitely. Uh, everybody asking about their questions, please read the super chat rules. Uh, I, like I always say, I really appreciate everyone being here and being patient and everything like that. But part of doing the super chats is that it takes me a while to get through all the super chat. So uh, again, I automatically assume that everybody reads the super chat rules because they get posted about 900 times a night by the mods who do a great job. So everybody, please be patient. I answer all super chats in order. Uh, Gene XO, thank you for the super chat. Will my Gemini or Leo end up being my favorite forever person? Four Pentacles here. Uh, I would say no. I feel like it's someone new. Wheel of the world. I feel like it's someone new. Probably someone you haven't met yet. Uh, C Lynn, thank you for the super chat. I'm a Cancer. Will the person I end up with be someone from the past or someone new? Hermit. I think you have a choice. C Lynn is what I'd say to you. I feel like you have a choice. I would move towards someone new here. Three Swords. Yeah. Not, someone who didn't break your heart is what I'd say to you. Uh, Tara, thank you for the super chat. Tara L, if you are here, pop your question in down below. I'll be happy to answer it uh, for sure. Uh, Alexandra, thank you for the super chat. Will I eventually? Um, uh, will I eventually get um, communication from the Capricorn King of Pentacles? Like waiting for communication here. And the page ones here. I would say yes. I feel like you will get communication. So yes. Uh, Kristen Lopez. Thank you for the super chat. I'm a Capricorn. I'm dealing with an Aquarius. Uh, did he use me for my money? Uh, will he come back with a love offer? Emperor. I would say no. I feel like just a little cold though. Strength. I mean, I think he could come back here. Four wands. I don't think he used you for your money. Um, but you have the strength card. Patience. Four wands. Marriage. Uh, Eight of Cups, I almost feel like you're going to walk away from this. So I feel like you're going to walk towards someone new. Uh, Mark Aqua, thank you for the super chat. Uh, thank you for all that you do. Uh, cards for the next few days. You have the Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. I like this. Or this is the uh, Knight of Cups. This is like a dream life. Uh, this could be love coming in for you, Mark. So if you're looking for love, it could be someone who sweeps you off your feet. Uh, who, someone who actually wants to work on a team with the Three of Pentacles here. And Ace of Pentacles could be new love coming in for you, Mark. I like this. It uh, could also be some financial, like a financial offer is what I'd say to you. Uh, Miss D, thank you for the super chat. What does Spirit want to tell me about Jeff? Uh, six of Wands, success, good news. What's this? Seven of Wands. It's like there was good news, but now there's burdens here, Deja. Judgment, I don't know. I'll probably try to come back, Deja. <laughs> uh, Devin Jones, thank you for the super chat. I'm back. Uh, tell me about my weekend. Do you have the Temperance card? I think you need to be patient. And you have this, the Nine of Cups, make a wish. I feel like there could be a wish or some sort of wish fulfillment coming in for you, Devin. So I like this. I feel like there's good stuff coming in for you. Uh, Chuck, thank you for the super chat. Uh, does the Gemini want to start again? If so, will he contact me or do I have to contact him? Six of Pentacles, lovers. I feel like I would say yes, but I feel like you would have to reach out to them is what I'd say there, Chuck. So I feel like you would have to be the one to reach out. Uh, Claire D or Claire M, thank you for the super chat. Cards for the rest of October. The star, some sort of wish coming in for you, and the King of Cups. Thinking to watch your emotions. I feel like your emotional state will kind of create your reality at this time. So I feel like you need to keep it positive with this energy, and I feel like that'll kind of attract good stuff in for you, J uh, Claire. Uh, Janet, thank you for the super chat. What is coming to me in love this month? Knight of Swords. Someone rushing in here. Nine of Pentacles. It's like single energy. There could be communication coming in for you, Janet. The sun. Someone who makes you very happy. So I do feel like there could be communication that makes you very happy coming in for you here. This could also be you focusing on yourself as well. 
Uh, Melissa Ann, thank you here. Uh, thank you. Uh, you say Scorpio here. Please pull cards for me this weekend. You have the Net of Wands here and the Page of Pentacles. It's like some fun. I feel like you could be having fun or doing things that are fun for you this weekend, Melissa. Uh, I like it. I think this is good for you. Uh, Nathan, thank you for the super chat. I'm Aquarius. Is my Scorpio going to communicate better with me? It's our three year anniversary and she's not communicating with me or and our daughter. You have the Eight of Swords. Feeling very stuck in this situation. Two of Wands, some sort of new beginning. I would say yes, I feel like there will be communication, Nathan, but I feel like it's been a very stuck situation. Uh, MGM, thank you for the super chat. Uh, what does my Pisces man need to hear for me uh, to feel good today? Uh, Seven of Swords. Uh, I would like all the fears here. Five of Swords. I feel like any type of attention. Five of Swords. Five of Swords close off energy, but it could just be any type of attention at all would be good is what I'd say to you. Uh, Jessica, thank you for the super chat. Energy love from Sev for me or a town for me uh tower some sort of surprise here what is this surprise king of swords here it's like they're closed off at this time four swords i almost feel like they're going through healing so i feel like there will be um either a healing or they're going through a healing in this situation uh Antelius, thank you for the super chat gemini asking about love life in the future uh page of cups so definitely love coming in for you could be a pisces for sure you have the moon so i feel like this could be love four cups i think you need to see it though so make sure you're open to it with the four cups uh amy miller thank you for the super chat you say will my scorpio give us a chance he's running for me hangman here you're stuck Ten of Swords is like some sort of difficult ending here. And the Five of Cups, regrets. I feel like they will have regrets if they don't stop, is what I would say to you, of course. Page of Swords, spying. Justice is like you're hoping for balance in this situation, Amy. Uh, I feel like they're going to have regrets if they don't stop, is what I would say to you. I feel like your answer is a hangman. I feel like your answer is to pause and to go into hangman mode and to try to uh, gain enlightenment from the situation and uh, justice really does say um any to match them basically so any communication or whatever you receive from them in the near future to try to like balance it out if that makes sense and try, try to match them i'm not saying play games you know so don't play some weird like no contact game or something like that but i i feel like you need to like match the amount of energy that they're putting in and i feel like that will lead to success magician right here some sort of new beginning so uh, i think you almost need to go into no contact even though i just said like i don't really consider no contact a game but I, f I feel like you get what i'm saying but i do feel they could come back uh cc thank you for the super chat you say here will my gemini make contact soon yep net of cups so yes yeah six of cups yes so yes uh andre wasson thank you for the super chat you say will me and gemini work things out i'm a taurus and we are separated page of cups here four swords you're on a break i would say yes immediately because these cards to me just say uh or andre yeah andre is that your name andre did i say that right i hope so but anyway i feel like you're on a break i feel like there's still attraction here so yes i feel like you will work this out i feel like there's still attraction here is what i'd say to you uh sherry thank you for the super chat you say well i have a good news regarding the sale of my house three cups yes definitely i feel like you need to be patient it's not gonna happen immediately magician i feel like you attracted this into your life so yes uh, is what i'd say to you uh karen q thank you for the super chat you say is scorpio waiting for me to contact him for yeah probably scorpio here strength i would be patient i wouldn't rush right back to this person but i would say yes uh tori thank you for the super chat i lost your question tori hold on one second and let me find it and i will answer it so tori will bobby communicate uh better in our relationship hangman yeah uh, i feel like if you can give him time <laughs> then yes uh, Anti-Social V, can you pull cards, advice? Uh, thank you for the super chat uh, from my guides and situation that's been on my mind. Nine of Cups of Wish, Wish Fulfillment, Six of Swords, Improvements. So I feel like there will be um, improvements in this situation is what I would say to you. Uh, Isla, thank you for the donation. Psychic Gem, thank you for the super chat. Will I find a new home by Christmas? Eight of Cups here. Eight of Pentacles. Mm, I feel like saying no if I'm being honest. Like, I, like will you find some place to live maybe, but is it a house? Uh, I'm not so sure with this energy. I don't know. Eight of Pentacles says put the work in. You probably will. Uh, Tamara, thank you for the super chat. I'm a Capricorn wondering if my Gemini man is coming back. Everybody dealing with the Gemini. And uh, Tamara, I would say yes. I feel like there's a lot of attraction here. Didn't you have the Ace of Wands on your last question? Look at this Ace of Swords. Uh, to me, two aces is a definite yes is what I would say to you, Tamara. So um, yes, for sure. No doubt about it. 
Uh, sweet girl for you, 24-7. That's one hell of a name. Thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. You say collective reading. Uh, we're doing a collective reading thanks to sweet girl for you or whatever. Uh, sweet girl for you, 24-7. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, we are um, doing a super uh, collective for Sweet Girl. Uh, so for everyone here in the collective, we have the Queen of Wands and the Two of Swords. I feel like um, it's the same collective that I just did. <laughs> I feel like everybody needs to make a decision. Pick the new path. Pick the new choice. Two of swords, two of pentacles. Don't trick yourself out of something that could be good for you. Again, Neptune and Pisces, we could see things that we truly want to manifest in our lives and be like, oh, I can never have that. It's not possible. Again, go watch the Rocket doc the Rocket Man documentary on Amazon. Some smart ass told me that the Rocket Man died. I'm like, it doesn't matter. The guy was a dumbass. You know, he thought the earth was flat. He drove a he drove a limo for a living, and he was still able to build a rocket. I don't care if he died in the stupid rocket, okay? He thinks the Earth is flat, right? I mean, not a genius, okay? But still, he was still able to build a rocket that he was still able to launch his ass in, and he survived in a couple of times. Obviously, once he didn't survive in it, and I guess, you know, you only have to be right once, but you also only have to be wrong once. He was clearly wrong. He was wrong on a whole other level. Don't get me started. But the point is, if he can do that, you can have whatever you want, okay? Next, we have the Seven of Swords, the King of Wands. I feel like everybody needs to let go of their fears. King of Wands, we need to put our heart and soul into things that we want to manifest here. And Two of Pentacles, make the choice. Yeah, the star, we can have whatever we want. The star is manifestation. The star says make a wish. If they can make a wish, and you will have whatever you want in your life. So definitely wish and wish fulfillment coming in here. Uh, that looks amazing. Thank you, sweet girl, for you. Really appreciate it. Uh, Queen Bella, thank you for the super chat. Is the person visiting my dreams who I'm going to end up with? Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. I would say yes. I actually like this Queen Bella. Ace of Pentacles is an offer, so I'd say yes. Really, Chris, thank you for the super chat. When will love come in for me? Seven of Wands. When you open up. Seven of Wands, too closed off, right? Needing to open up here. Two of Wands, needing to leave a comfort zone, needing to get out into the world. So I feel like you need to get out into the world with this energy and you will find love. Uh... Dog Door 101 Rodriguez, thank you for the super chat. You have the Hierophant and the Four Wands. I think you, this is like freedom. Uh, I feel like this is some sort of finish line. I think you need to keep pushing with this energy. It's like you're reaching the end of a finish line, is what I would say to you. So I feel like you need to keep pushing with this energy here. And Bakari, thank you for the super chat. Is the Cancer Man coming back correct? Uh, yeah, definitely Two of Cups. Two of Cups is like an entanglement, <laughs> it's like true love. So, yes. Uh, princess thank you for the super chat what are d's intentions three of swords i don't like that to the moon that's a lot of fear energy here net of pentacles it's almost like they're too cautious i feel like they have good intentions actually i don't like the three of swords but that could say that either one or both of you is coming off of like a heartbreak or something here but i feel like they're like a little bit too slow uh jennifer hodges thank you for the super chat does my libra love me uh yep ten of pentacles is everything you want in life ten of pentacles is a tree life so jennifer i would say um yes no doubt about it i feel like they really want something with you uh uh abijit thank you for the super chat why did my aries leave me suddenly in july i'm a cancer will she be back ten of wands i feel like too much work is what I'd say here. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, I, I just feel like they just um, couldn't invest in the situation anymore is what I would say to you, as much as I hate to say it. Yeah, King of Swords. I feel like they, they just had to move on. You know, I don't I don't think there's a real good answer. I always tell people, it's like, you know, pe when people break up with us, you know, every breakup is a result of a loss of emotional attraction, uh, no matter what. Um, that's what it all boils down to. So um, there's really no way to explain it other than that <laughs> is what I'd say there. Uh, Amanda Johnson, thank you for the super chat. Can I get a few cards for the rest of October? Three of Wands, looking forward into the future. Very future focused. Figure very focused on expansion, expanding, growing as well. And Three of Pentacles, teamwork. So a lot of success in teamwork for you. Uh, Jennifer Montgomery, thank you for the super chat. Feeling a little defeated this week, getting good news. Eight of Swords, if they can set yourself free, Wheel of Fortune, a lot of luck coming in for you. This is like a turnaround coming in for you, so I feel like there's a lot of luck or a turnaround coming in for you. Uh, Melanie, thank you for the super chat. Looking for true love, a lot of inner development right now, uh, but will it ever lead to a relationship? Devil, I think you need to avoid toxic situations. Ten of Cups, fortune after difficulty, so yes, definitely. Uh, Big G, hello. Thank you for the super chat. Been thinking about a move to LA for some time. Wondering if that's right for me. Uh, and if so, anytime soon. Page of Pentacles, a new beginning. King of Pentacles, I would say yes. I feel like you should do it. So yes, like right away. <laughs> as soon as you can with this energy is what I'd say to you.
Uh, Lana, thank you for the super chat. Will there be a situation with a longtime friend ever be resolved? Five of Swords, like walking away, Hermit. I, if someone opens up here, so I feel like someone needs to reach out to the other person, obviously. I would say yes, but someone needs to open up. Uh, Char, thank you for the super chat. Uh, cards in general, what do you got for me? Uh, love, could be love. Seven of Cups, so if they can to focus on what you want. But two of Cups to me is love, or uh, the lovers, I mean, is love. The Seven of Cups just says focus on what you want, and you'll get it in love. So, like, perfect match. Uh, Aileen, if you are here, uh, again, let me know. I'll be happy to answer your question. Melissa, and thank you for the super chat cards for the new Scorpio I'm talking to. Very balanced. Five of Pentacles. I feel like they also feel left out in the cold in love. So, yeah, I feel like, like, take a balanced approach to this, but I feel like this could be good for you. Uh, Shelly, thank you for the super chat. Who or what is coming towards me? Net of Wands, a player. Not a player. I hope not a player. It's like you're leaving behind a player, Shelly. Queen of Swords. Whoever, I feel like there could be, like, multiple people coming towards you here. Yeah, Chariot a choice to make could be one between a player and a new person i would pick the new person here is what i'd say to you uh anurata thank you for the super chat what should i expect in my love life it wants uh, communication queen of pentacles queen of pentacles just says open up there's like multiple opportunities for you so again i would get out there it wants is socializing for love uh, Paulina, thank you for the super chat. Will I get the internship, which will lead to a job? Nine of Wands, don't give up on this. Judgment card, I would say yes. Judgment is your true inner calling, Paulina. It's like something that you are being called towards. So I would say yes. Uh, April G, thank you for the super chat. Good morning. Uh, can I have some car more insight on Mr. Sag? Ace of Cups, love. Your emotions overflowing. Four of Cups. It's like they got someone has to accept the love offer here. There's a ton of love here. Ace of Cups, but Four of Cups, ignoring love offer. So... You know, somebody's got to accept the love. Uh, Kara S., thank you for the super chat. Will I get a job I interviewed for? Uh, I would say no. I feel like there's a lot of competition for this one, Kara. Uh, Jessica, thank you for the super chat. If I see John again, could our situation be better than it was before? The Fool and the Tower? No. Uh, no. I would say no. <laughs> uh shane bray thank you for the super chat um will someone from the past in love be reaching out to me soon no i feel like they're too cold five of cups i feel like someone does have regrets here if i'm being honest with you but it's like they're not going to reach out high priestess no action so i would say no uh, maria thank you for the super chat what do you see for me in work am i going to find something in my field or should i go back to school the world nine of swords something in your field i feel like you will have a goal and i feel like you're gonna achieve it so i feel like it's something in your field uh, Sherry, by the way, Sherry, if you are here, um, feel free to type in your other question down below. Erica Lynn, thank you for the super chat card about career next week and about love. Ten of Swords, wanting to change career, Four Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you want more stability in career. And in love, you have the Nine of Swords. Get out of your head <laughs> in love. The sun. I feel like there's a lot of happiness coming in for you in love. Uh, Susan... Thank you for the super chat. You say, forgot to hit the dollar sign. Could you pull some cards for me? I'm an Aquarius. King of Cups. I do feel like this could be love coming in for you here. And the Six of Wands. It's like good news coming in for you, Susan. So I feel like there could be good news. It's like new love. Could be a water sign for sure. Wouldn't surprise me. Water's been showing up in Aquarius quite a bit. So it could be like new love coming in for you. 444 four, four right now, by the way, Susan, at the time of me reading your question. So I feel like it could be someone who's very stable. But I also feel like it's someone you have to be patient with. But this is like new love coming in for you. I like it. Uh, all right. Let me just switch it up real quick. Uh, John Holmes, thank you for the uh, super chat. Really appreciate it. Uh, you say here, weekend energy, ace of swords, victory, good news, eight of cups, walking away from things that no longer serve you. I think you're walking towards wishes as well. I like it. Syria Designs, thank you for the super chat. You say, what else can I do to sell my business? Practical or energetic advice, welcome. Page of Pentacles, learning as much as you can about selling a business. So I would try to learn as much as you possibly can. Uh, to me, in the astrology, just thinking of the astrology, everything that I would focus on right now is adding any type of value that you possibly can to the business. This could be like templating the business, making it easier for someone who could potentially buy it in the future. There's a book that I would definitely read, by the way. It's called uh, The E-Myth if you're wondering how to template a business and it popped into my head when i started reading so i would definitely do that uh, it's called the e-myth again and it's about making turning your business into a template if you do that it becomes like immediately significantly more valuable so uh, that's what i would do if i were you uh sherry thank you again you say here um is my libra guy for real when he says he really does want me y yes two of cups uh soulmates so yes is what i would say to you no doubt about it 
Uh, Blue Lotus, thank you so much for the super chat. As always, you say, been seeing 1031 everywhere for a few months. Can you, can you, I expect, what can I expect on this day? Hermit, this is like passing some sort of test is what I feel for you. It's almost like you're overcoming some sort of test or passing a test What in where? Ten of Pentacles, like fa passing a financial test. Could be like a new job or something uh, financially beneficial coming in for you. I like it. Uh, Jamisha, uh, sorry if I butchered your name, but thank you for the super chat. Jam Jamisha, if you have a question, uh, pop it in down below. Uh, Chloe, thank you for the super chat. I've been thinking about walking away from Aquarius, but I've been seeing signs and even had a dream about him last night. Why? Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles like giving it to or wondering if, sh if you should invest in the situation. Seven of Swords here. I, don't, I almost feel like you are just going to walk away from the situation, Chloe, is what I'd say to you. Um, but probably because you're thinking about it. Uh, juicy Kisses. Hold on. One second. You say here, uh, will someone new come into my life? Yeah, new person, four wants. Four wants to me is stepping through a portal. So I would say yes, definitely a new person. Uh, Nanya, thank you for the super chat. For the rest of the month, you have the five wands, hey man. Probably just delays. I don't think this is a big deal, Nanya. I do feel this energy for Leo in general. I did the Leo reading this morning. It was actually a pretty good reading, but there were some delays. I just think just slow energy. So I feel like you're just like waiting for things to progress in your life, and they probably will. Uh, Anna, thank you for the super chat. Well, David, marry me. Is my intuition good? Pisces, seven of pentacles. I feel like you need to be patient in love here. Nine of wands. I feel like you need to not give up on love. I don't really, I, I, like, I feel like you need to make a wish. I feel like, of course, your intuition is on point, but I feel like you need to kind of, like, slow things down here, not rush this, the fool. I do feel like you need a new beginning, but I would be patient with David. Uh, Lakery Cakes, thank you for the super chat. You say here, uh, it's my, happy birthday. It's my birthday today, ninth. You're only nine years old? Wow. Uh, any financial news for the next year? A ton of abundance coming in for you here. Ten of Swords, let go of your fears. I think like there's a lot of abundance coming in for you, so uh, love it. Uh, Amelia, thank you for the super chat. Where should I put my energies? The world, dating. Amelia, if you're looking for love, I would put your energy into dating. If you're not looking for love, the world would be goals, like things that you want to achieve in your life or travel even. So I feel like that's what you need to do. Uh, Jamisha, thank you again. You say, what's going on with my Sagittarius, Greg? Is he I feel like he's very slow. A lot of people are getting this energy is what I'd say here. Page wants some sort of new beginning. I feel like he wants a new beginning, but it's like so slow. Page wants is an adventure. Queen of Swords. I feel like you'd have to open up to him to get this moving. Uh, Kurt, you're all set. I'm almost, uh, I'm almost at your question, Kurt. Um, Rachel, thank you for the super chat. Love cards about current relationship. Magician, you can have whatever you want. Magician is a card of using your powers of manifestation to get what you want. So, uh, I feel like actually things could go well for you, Rachel, but I feel like you need to use your powers of manifestation here. Emperor, follow a plan. Uh, Angie, thank you for the super chat. How does Brian feel about the breakup? Like, does he regret it? Is he sad? I think he's very closed off. Chariot, I, I, like, I don't see regrets or anything with the chariot, but yeah, devil, I don't know. I, I do feel like he feels very attached in this situation, so I do feel like there is sadness there. Uh, Bree F, thank you for the super chat. What is next, the next major thing coming in for me? King of Swords, Three of Swords, probably letting go of a heartbreak, Hierophant, could be like marriage. I feel like I said this to you the other night, Sheena, that like someone was coming in for you that is going to be like the tr your true person, basically. Could be someone a little bit older than you with that King of Swords. So I feel like you could be like meeting, you know, the one. Of course, I always tell people, don't go out there looking for the one, but I do feel like it could be like a person you marry. Uh, Sky A, thank you for the super chat. If you have a question, pop it in down below. Uh, Melissa, thank you for the super chat. Does my Pisces have feelings for me? Yep, definitely lovers. So yes, no doubt about it. Uh, Kurt. Thank you for the super chat again. Really appreciate it. Uh, I'm doing a challenge. Will I pass? Yes, definitely. Judgment, tier six cups, a gift from the universe, two of pentacles. I feel like you worked hard for this. So yes, for sure. I would say yes, definitely. I feel like you will be passing this. Judgment, judgment kind of seals the deal for me. So I would say yes. Uh, DV Bridget, thank you for the super chat. Will I get a promotion soon? Yes, definitely. Sun. I the sun's the best card in the deck. King of pentacles. So yes, definitely a promotion for sure. Uh, Tina Marie, thank you for the super chat. Tina, if you have a question, pop it in down below. Uh, Sky A, thank you for the super chat. You say, will I find a soulmate soon? Ace of Wands, Nine of Swords. I would actually say yes. This is like someone charging into your life very quickly is what I would say to you. You have the High Priestess as well. Trust your intuition as well. Um, so yes, for sure. And I feel like there is someone coming in for you. Um, so yes is what I would say to you. Definitely. Uh... Uh, Tina Marie, did anybody, did I, 
did I read Tina Marie? I don't think so. Tina Marie, if you have a question, pop it in down below. Uh, Alyssa Seymour, thank you for the super chat. You say, when is Jesse the Leo going to make a move? Outcome death. This is like an ending. Eight of Pentacles. It's like putting in the work. So I feel like soon is what I'd say. I feel like they're waiting for something to end is what I'd say to you. Four cups. Yeah, uh, I feel like soon is what I'd say to you. Uh, I'm not sure that you're going to accept this offer, though, with the four cups. Like, I'm wondering if they're too late. Uh, that's that. Uh, Jessica, thank you for the super chat. Uh, is Sev a player, uh, or could he be a good partner? Uh, I feel like you need to be patient. Seven of Cups. I feel like you need to focus on this, is what I would say to you. So if you want them, I feel like they're legitimate. But I feel like you need to focus exactly what you want with them, and you'll get it. Uh, Safaya, thank you for the super chat. You say, Cap here, what should I do about my Sag X? I do feel like you feel sad about this. Page of Swords, spying. I feel like there's new love coming in for you. So I feel like you're going to focus on new love. Uh, Cuckoo Bee, thank you for the super chat. Guidance from Spirit, thank you. You have the star. I feel like you're healing. Ten of Cups. I feel like you're healing at this time, Cuckoo Bee, and I feel like you should focus on that. Ten of Cups is uh, fortune after difficulty, so I feel like there could be a lot of good stuff coming in for you. Uh, Queen Nefra, thank you for the super chat. Just met my TF. He's a cap and I'm Aquarius, trying my best to work on us, but he's running now. What should I do? Will we work? Four Pentacles to me says open up. Like, especially if you're dealing with a twin flame, you know, uh, to me, we have to open up with twin flames and just let them do their running, right? The best thing you can do is not chase. You know, I know that, you know, to me, it's like a toxic thing in the first place, but the whole runner chaser thing, the best thing you can do is work on yourself, raise your vibration, and do whatever you can to work on yourself, and then they'll come right back faster. So that's how you get a twin flame to come back faster. Uh, Steph B, thank you for the super chat. You say here, I am a Leo. What should my main focus be right now? Uh, uh, Ten of Wands, probably work, working and um, your responsibilities with the Ten of Wands. And what is my love life looking like in the near future? Very quick, Eight of Wands, King of Wands. You could be attracting like another fire sign into your life or someone that you're very passionate about with the uh, King of Wands is what I'd say here. Eight of Wands, someone who's very social. I feel like you're like social together is what I would say to you. It's like you're going to be social together with this energy, but that's uh, really good. Uh, Tina Marie, thank you again. You say a new Libra that has come, uh, that has come in. Should I keep? talking to this person is it going to stay friends only strength i would be patient queen of cups i feel like this could turn into love is what i'd say to you so i don't think it's friends only i feel like this could turn into something more significant is what i'd say to you uh the beauty t thank you for the super chat is the cancer guy i'm talking to the one for me five of cups here queen of wands i feel like there's a lot of attraction here but i would say no tower um probably not the one does that mean you shouldn't date them no um, I would still go out and have a good time and have an experience and all that other stuff is what I'd say to you, but probably not the one. Uh, SB, thank you for the super chat. You say here, has Pisces moved on for me? Three of Pentacles. No. Three of Cups. I'd say probably not. Uh, like, I don't think Pisces ever truly moves on, so in general, but from anyone, but uh, yeah, uh, I would say probably not. Uh, Ashley, thank you for the super chat. Well, the, my Aquarius come back. Yes, definitely Aquarius. And this is a turnaround as well. So I would say yes, for sure. Uh, Safaya, thank you for the super chat. Cap, what should I do about my Sag X? Page of Cups. I think you need to make a love offer. I almost feel like you're accepting new love out though. Um, so I feel like you're, yeah, I said this in your last question. You had the Ace of Cups. I feel like you're going to be accepting new love. Um, so probably moving on. Um, Aileen, thank you for the super chat. Do I need to move? I did um, do I need to move? I did walk away March 31st. I feel like you might move. You have the Six of Swords here and the Knight of Cups. I feel like you might move. So, yes, is what I would say to you. Knight of Cups is definitely moving. Uh, Bree, I think I answered your question. It's possible that I skipped you. Um, Bree, um, I didn't answer your question. Bree, I'm sorry. Bree, thank you so much for the the super chat you say here uh is my job secure right now um we'll we'll start there i would say yes three of wands nine of pentacles these are very good cards brie so i feel like there is a lot of financial security here and abundance nine of pentacles is being able to take care of yourself and it's like financial success is what i would say to you and hold on one second brie let me get the rest of your question and you say will i be asked to change position soon so yeah i would say yes nine of wands is like in and out energy but it could also just be a change so i would say yes i think like you will be asked to change position soon but that that, that looks pretty good. Nine of Pentacles, definitely very good for a career. 
Uh, Anna, hello. Thank you for the super chat. Cards for the weekend. Get out of your head is what I'd say here. And the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is like gathering your resources. I feel like you are either focusing on your resources or you are making more money or you're focused on making more money or looking for opportunities to do so is what I feel here with the Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. I feel like you can set yourself free in some sort of situation as well. Uh, San, thank you for the super chat. San, hold on one second. What's going to happen? King of Cups, love justice i feel like this is like investment is what i would say to you so i feel like you're like investing in things that you desire uh at this time and i feel like that will lead to um a lot of success so i love that uh kelly how did i miss you it looks like i might have missed um two people here uh maria p i think i missed you as well um you say oh no wait i answered maria uh, kelly i did miss you what's my what is the hang, my hang up with this person and do they feel the same you have the moon i feel like fierce is probably uh kelly sorry about that by the way and i feel like fears are preventing this from moving forward six of wands here as well i do feel like in a way they feel the same but i feel like you have to let go of the fears or the worries in this situation two wands comfort zone it's like maybe you're maybe you could be both mirroring each other as far as your like what comfort zones you're willing to move past or whatever here kelly and i feel like that could be kind of creating a blockage here but i would say yes uh, San, I answered, uh, Chelsea Rush, thank you for the super chat, you have the five of swords here, and four of swords, I feel like you're healing in love here, and ace of pentacles, I feel like once you heal, Chelsea, there will be a love offer, ace of pentacles is a path to marriage, it's almost like the next person you meet will be the person you marry, is what I feel like saying to you, Chelsea, so, love it, uh, hold on one second, everybody, uh, Angie, thank you for the super chat. Can you pull cards for Brian and I? Uh, it occurs to me that maybe I'm missing something important because I'm not asking the right question. Four cups. It's like not receiving the love you want in the situation. Five of pentacles, feeling left out in the cold. Eight of cups. I don't know. I'm almost wondering if you're going to walk away from this situation with eight of cups. Eight of cups is like, um, you know, walking away because, because that's what it represents. It, need, it represents doing something difficult to get to something great. Yeah, you know, strength. I think you need to be patient is what I'd say to you. Uh, CC, thank you for the super chat. When we get back together, Page of Wands, Magician. I feel like you could. Magician says you could attract this person back into your life if you wanted to. So I would say if you want to, yes, I feel like you could get back together. Uh, Karen Thorpe, thank you for the super chat. Will my health improve soon? Queen of Swords, I'm not a doctor, Karen, so do not take this as medical advice. Eight of Wands, quick success. I would say yes for you here, so yes. Uh, KC, thank you for the super chat. Hello, by the way. Uh, you say, here are a few cards for me. You have the Nine of Cups, a wish, Knight of Swords, charging towards wish fulfillment. So I feel like there's like some sort of wish coming in for you here, KC. So I'd say make a wish, Queen of Pentacles. Could have to do with your resources or your job. So love it. Uh, SF, if you are here, thank you for the super chat. And uh, pop your question in down below. Uh, so that looks good. Queen Nefra, thank you for the donation. Uh, Anna, thank you for the super chat. Here's the real question. I live one block from the Pacific Ocean. What's up with always he having crickets in my bedroom? Not joking. Seven of Pentacles could be the plants near where th where you live is what I'm getting off this Seven of Pentacles. So could just be if you have bushes outside your house or something. I feel like they're coming in from some sort of bush that they really like or something like that is what I'd say to you. Uh, Alyssa, thank you for super chat advice from Spirit Overall. Eight of Pentacles, put the work in. Um, both love and career. I feel like you need to put the work in. Eight of Pentacles is like apprenticeship. It's like saying you are learning from this uh, process that you're in in life in general so i feel like you need to learn as much as you can uh sf thank you for the super chat gemini gemini twin flames what's next the world here five of wands it's like conflict here ten of cups fortune after difficulty i feel like you two are gonna get back together i feel like you're completing a cycle you're learning through the conflicts that you've been through together and the ten of cups fortune after difficulty i feel like you will be brought back together uh, healing waters thank you for the super chat really appreciate it you say here what should i do about aquarius i don't know what's right now but there's attraction here in the king wants you're uh, this is like divine counterparts is what i would say to you uh knight of pentacles it's like i feel like you either need to put in the work or don't you know this says there's a ton of attraction here with these two but it's like you either need to decide to put in the work or this could be them as well i mean we can't force another person to put work in either so i feel like you need to either have them put in you both need to decide to put in the work or don't uh michelle or i'm sorry uh Alyssa, thank you again you say here um do you see me getting a position at with michelope I, I would say yes six of pentacles lovers perfect match i would say yes is what i would say to you 
Uh, the Beauty T, thank you for the super chat. You say, is it a job opportunity or career change coming soon? The Fool, yeah, I feel like there's a new beginning coming in for you. You will be taking a leap of faith. Yeah, temperance. I feel like you need to be patient, but um, I would say yes to you. Uh, Healing Waters, thank you for the super chat. Uh, you say, um, sorry, um, if you see if there's new love for me. Uh, everything's still stagnant, but kind of by choice. Uh, yeah, of course there's new love. You have the sun, the best card in the deck, the moon. Not so great, but <laughs> I feel like you need to let go of your fears and the Ten of Wands. I feel like you need to put in the work. I feel like there's definitely love coming in for you. Uh, CC, thank you for the super chat. Yeah, I feel like he, st he still loves you is what I would say to you here. Let go of your fears here. But yeah, yes, I think there's still love here. Uh, probably permanently. Uh, Sam, thank you for the super chat. Can I have some cards pulled on a love situation I'm in? Uh, Seven of Cups. Confusion. Page of Swords. A lot of spying. Two of Swords. Someone needs to make a decision here. Ace of Wands. Like to have a new beginning or not. I feel like this is like a head over heart decision. Someone made a decision to leave this situation. But I feel like this situation could have a new beginning. But it's like someone has to choose that. Six of Swords. I don't know. You might end up moving away from this is what I would say to you. Uh, Sophia, thank you for the super chat. You say, any advice? I keep fixating, fixating on Sag X feelings for me and why he left very confused. You have the Five of Cups. A lot of regrets and sadness here. Three of Wands. I feel like you just need to like focus on the future. I know it's hard. Trust me. But I do feel like that Five of Cups is saying you need to turn around and see what you do have. That there's a lot of like new opportunities for you here. Yeah, I think like you need to let go of your fears here, Sophia. Uh, Marianne, thank you for the super chat. Malia, what do you see for me in love? Seven of Swords, let go of your fears. Hairfint, marriage coming in for you here. Ace of Pentacles, it's like a path to marriage. So, uh, Marianne, I feel like there could be new love coming in. I do feel like it could be an earth sign. Three of Swords, gotta let go of the past. But I feel like there's like an earth sign coming in for you. And it probably lead to marriage. Uh, D Flawless, thank you for the super chat. How does X feel about me since the breakup? Uh, Nine of Wands, Ace of Swords. It's like they want things to come into balance. I feel like there's still a lot of passion here. Ace of Swords is like wanting to communicate, but it's like they're not with that Knight of Wands, Devil. Yeah, very, this could be like a, um, I don't think this is toxic. I feel like there's just a strong connection. Uh, um, so that's that. Uh, Aroa, thank you for the super chat. You say, uh, love for this month, please. You have the Justice card and the Chariot. Some sort of victory uh, coming in for you in love. Three of Pentacles, someone who wants to work on a team with you is what I'd say here. So I think like there's like true love coming in for you here. And I feel like it's someone who wants to work on a team with the Three of Pentacles. Justice is just like cause and effect. It just says what you put into love is what you're going to get back. So I feel like you need to like invest in it. Uh, Jamisha, thank you for the super chat. Uh, pull some cards for me this month. You have the Wheel of Fortune and the King of Cups. I feel like this is like a lot of luck, but it's going to be determined by your feelings. There's a snake right here on this card, Jamisha, and, it, and this snake represents your vibes. The King of Cups also represents your vibrations, what you give off in the world. So I think you need to keep it positive with this energy. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles, just like true love coming in for you or some sort of reward that you want coming in for you. I like it. That looks amazing. So that's that. All right. I got to cut this off here, people. So uh, thank you, everybody, for being here. I really appreciate it. Uh, I will be back tomorrow night at uh, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, of course. Also, um, also, also. Tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., half of the uh, mid-monthly readings will be going up on the channel. Earth and water, fire and air will be going on Sunday. To make it fair, by the way, uh, the monthly readings for November will be up in about two weeks. And I'm going to do the opposite. So air and fire will go first for the monthlies because uh, I know that everything has to be very fair. But uh, that will be that. So um, I'm going to answer. Uh, Sky Ocean is going to be the last person I answer. Uh, Tina Marie, I answered your question like 30 minutes ago. Uh, Sky Ocean, thank you for the super chat. You say, my BF and I are a little shaky. Are we going to be able to make this work? Four cups, a little shaky. Five of Pentacles of Sadness, Devil. Uh, three of Pentacles. I feel like you could make this work with the Three of Pentacles, putting in the work. This kind of says no. But the Devil just says avoid toxic situations. And the justice card putting in the work. So I feel like you need to like put in the work in this situation is what I would say to you uh, to make this work. But um, yeah, that's what I would say there. Um, so there you go. Um, that's that. Uh, but anyway, uh, thank you everybody again for being here. Really appreciate it. Uh, and have a good night.